If it ain't Chad. Hi, Chad. How are you? Let's see if this works. Oh, Mazel Tov. Oppa. Wait, what's wrong with the mic? What's wrong with my mic? Is there something wrong with my mic? J Reality? Huh? You just complain about nothing again, like fucking usual. Like fucking usual, Jay complained about nothing. Hi, chat. How are you? Hello, guys. Um, oh, it's PM. Hey, thanks for the tier one sub, my friend. Uh, Super Bapa Frequalizer. Thanks for the 20 months. Saki662. Thanks for the nine months. Shiba Hudi. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the 19 months. Holy shit. It's been a hot minute since I met you all. I'm so happy to be here. Well, thank you for being here. Tier three for 19 months, Shiba. One of the few keepers of the Betch Preg emote. White noise? It's not white noise. It's air conditioner noise because it's hotter than a rattlesnake's taint in this basement. Uh, Star Triller, thanks for the 20 months, dude. Fuzzball plays. Hey, man, thanks for the 20 months. Patch notes for Earth. You can now upgrade kidneys to adult knees. <sighs> Ooh, chat. Cubenz's dream just came in and starts off our Monday with 10 gifted subs. Let me see some pogs and claps and chat for Cubenzis dream. Thank you so much, Cubenzis. Holy shit. Jex, thank you for the 17 months, man. Kind of Linux. Thanks for the four months. Foffy B, thank you for the 18 months, dude. Subs, mods, and chat, and some for Milton. Ah, yay. Uh, semi coherent. Thanks for the. I guess. Fu oh, I guess chat. Okay. Uh, I guess fuck lurkers, maybe. Those are someone who's left out of that message. Uh, Phoenix, thank you. <laughs> is it Phoenix or is it Feeny? I, oh boy, thanks for the four months. Fuzzball plays, thanks again for the 20 months, man. Okay, now, chat. Gabriel, thank you for the 17 months and masked one, thank you for the 20 months. Chat, so, here's the scoop, all right? Here's the scoop on poop, listen up. Listen the fuck up, chat, okay? So, I'm just gonna check something really quick here. Okay. Okay, now, chat. If you were to go on Google and type in FL Studio, it'll take you to the Image Line website. That's who makes FL Studio, it'll take you to Image Line. And you would see that you can download the demo for FL Studio for free. That's this program that you're looking at right now. Everything here, this has not been in any way modified from the download that you get when you just download the program because uh, I don't have any of my other VSTs or other instruments or any shit like that. Um, this is just the stock program, no additional bells or whistles, just as though it was downloaded straight from online. Uh, now here's the important thing to know about FL Studio that not a lot of people, um, not a lot of people seem to process is that you can make all of the music that you want with FL Studio for free. The demo is free. The only thing is that if you want to save a file and reopen the file a few days later to work on it again, you can't do that unless you buy the program, but it's nice. It's not a timed, um, it's not a timed trial. It doesn't expire after 30 days. It doesn't only let you use it for an hour. You can use it for as long as you want. You get all of the instruments and all the rest. You just have to buy it if you want to reopen a save file. So my brother and I, when we started making music for the first few years, sponsored, I wish, right? <laughs> no, this is not sponsored. FL Studio doesn't even know I fucking exist. I just want to give you guys something sort of fun to fuck around with during quarantine. Um, so, um, yes. So, uh, for the first few years that my brother and I made music, um, we only used the demo version. We would start and finish an entire song without saving and reopening the file. In fact, most of our, some of our favorite songs from when we first started making music, we don't even have the save files because um, we, what is Neural Johnson? Neural Johnson is starting to make a Kiki theme song. No, you're not starting to make a Kiki theme song, Neural Johnson. He's don't listen to Neural Johnson. He's just trying to farm pogs. Neural Johnson, you don't even know how to use FL Studio, okay? Um... So anyways, um, you'll see that you're able to do a lot 
um with just the with just the demo version of fl studio because you don't have to ever close the program so if you wanted to like work on a song for a few hours one day and then just leave the program up overnight and the next day come back and continue working on it you're allowed to do that it's just that if you want to close the program or you want to close the song that you're working on you can't reopen it unless you buy the, the real version can you uh export uh mp3 and wav with the demo version i'm almost certain i'm almost positive because i did back in the day unless they've changed it since then i'm pretty sure uh you'll be able to so i i just opened the program i just opened fl studio and this is this is this is where it puts you when you open the program and i'm gonna walk you guys through uh some of these details now because i want you guys to not be overwhelmed by the huge number of things that you're looking at because there's a lot to fucking take in here the good news is you're not going to use 90 percent of it for example all this fucking shit up here the metronome wait for input to start playing countdown before recording blank recording overdue loop recording. i have never touched any of these buttons in my fucking life Maybe every now and then I've accidentally turned on a metronome and I just turn it the fuck off again. All this shit up here in this top row, pfft, ignore that shit right there. Here, one, one piece of advice that I might have if you're the same way that I am, I prefer to know how long my song is. I don't care about the bar and the measure. So uh, if you just click, just single left click this top timer here, it'll change it from bars to minutes and seconds. And I prefer that um all the rest of this stuff up here you're not really going to need to worry about any of this none of this is super important um down here once again you're basically not going to use any of these buttons the only one that you're going to end up using is this one right here this single button right here when it's on when the orange light is on that means that it's using your computer keyboard as a keyboard keyboard so if i was to press a key oh hold on And then if I turn that off, doesn't do anything. So what this does is it allows your, allows your computer keyboard to act like a keyboard keyboard. Uh, so that's what that does. Other than that, scrolls to reach time marker. What the fuck is that? Step editing mode, what is that? I don't know. Uh, enable note or clip groups, Pff, no idea what that does. And then this button over here, I only use when I'm trying to plug in my external, my external keyboard. So uh, once again, just to go over some of what we've covered here, the nice thing is a lot of these buttons, you're not even gonna have to worry about. You're never gonna touch them. You're not gonna fuck around with them. They don't do much. The big thing here is clicking that, that top timer there to change from bars to minutes. And this button here, the typing keyboard to piano keyboard, just so that you can, as you're scrolling through different instruments, you can, use your keyboard to trigger the sound effects. If only our school teachers were this honest, what the fuck is that? What the, what does it do? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, seriously, right? I don't know what the fuck that does. I have no, I've been using this program since 2010. I have no idea what the fuck that is. <laughs> this is like painting with Bob Ross, both FL Studio. Yeah, just a few more swears than usual, huh? Um, S5 of Shadow, thanks for the 10 months, man. Your Black Knight, thanks for the 500 bits. Milton, can I say you're looking fit as hell? You just said, listen the fuck up, so I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Love you, hi, chat. Hey, you're Black Knight. Thanks for the 500 bits, and thank you for shutting the fuck up. No, I'm kidding. I love you. Thanks for the 500 bits. Egg Nick Muffin, thank you for the nine months. Take me to the DMCA. Don't strike me. Uh, Sharky Mitz, thanks for the 16 months, man. Marcello, we just passed over three years. That's redonk -a donk Okay, now, chat, so we've covered that, right? We've covered a lot of these buttons up here, okay? We've covered the timer. We've covered the keyboard to piano uh, button. Uh, a couple of the other ones that uh, we'll get into more as the day goes on. You're not going to worry about this recording button. The recording button is, once again, I only really use the recording button when I'm using an actual keyboard that I have plugged into my, my computer, and um, that's an advanced thing. Don't worry about that. That comes with its own slew of issues and then over here you have the tempo which is how fast do you want your song to go basically and it's set to 130 automatically i usually start at 120 um that's easy pleasy okay now we're going to start getting into the meat and bones of 
how to start making music, okay? So, a few, um, a few things that you need to know about FL Studio. First of all, this, this thing right here, this thing that I'm shaking, is called your channel rack. It's a confusing terminology. I never call it the channel rack because I never know what it's called. All you need to know is that this is um, where your instruments will be stored. Your instruments are gonna go here. Every time you wanna add an instrument to your, uh, your arrangement, it's gonna go in here. It's gonna go in the channel rack. This is where all of your instruments are. Stop talking about racks, chat. Uh, so all of, your, all of your instruments are going to go here into the, into the channel rack. Uh, this is your arrangement window. And basically, um, this is gonna sound a little bit confusing at first, but what I'm gonna be teaching you guys to do, and the easiest way to start making music is to create uh, an eight second clip that you like, and then you just line it up back to back. You line up a bunch of them, and then you'll create another eight second layer that you also like that goes well with the first layer, and you'll add that. And the way that it'll work is then you can see here, I've just clicked there. Now these are just blank because I haven't put any notes in, but it's gonna look like that. You're gonna, ooh yeah, I like that little eight second clip. And then you're gonna make another one and go, ooh, I like that. And it layers on top really nicely. So I'm gonna put that so that these are playing at the same time and so on and so forth. This will make sense as we go along. But basically this is where you're gonna be putting your chunks of music. The channel rack is where you store your instruments. And the last real operative window that you need to be concerned with is the, whoops. Okay, so it's fucking with me a little bit. Just stop fucking with me. There we go. This is your mixer. And the, the function of the mixer is to basically control the volume of the different instruments and to um, allow you to add effects. If you wanna add reverb or echo, or you wanna give it a bass boost, or you wanna make it sound like it's coming through a radio, that's, uh, that's where you're gonna be doing it in here. Um, and don't worry, this is the type of mixer that will work for you and not the type of one that will simply dump all of its users <laughs> with no warning. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, <clears throat> let's get started here. So, uh, <clears throat> so here's the, here's how I find it best. I, I, this is, um, it's doing something new, which is interesting. Okay, if I just close you, okay, good, I can just close it. Okay, so basically what I try to do, if I, wait, what, Neural Johnson's crying at the pool? What is wrong with you, Neural Johnson? Uh, <laughs> okay, um, what I typically do is, uh, do you have to quantize an FL Studio or does it figure it out on its own? You can do both. Uh, where do you find the mixer at? Sorry, yes, uh, I apologize. There's another row of buttons that I wanted to, to, to tell you guys about, but I didn't tell you yet. And that is these buttons over here. Cause you're gonna use a few of these, some of them. View touch controller, pff, no fucking clue what that is. View tempo tapper, no clue what that is. Um, open plugin project picker, no clue what that is. Open project, I've never used that. View browser plugin picker, I've never touched that. The only ones that I really use are view the mixer, view the channel rack and view the piano roll. Uh, so if you want to see your mixer, it's going to be up here at the top, this button right here, view mixer. You can read it. You can't see, you can't see it on my screen, but in the very top left-hand corner, you see that gray window in the very top left-hand corner of the window. It's going to tell you there it, on, on my screen. It says view mixer, but you guys just can't see that. So, uh, yeah. So you click on that and it'll bring up or hide your mixer. Same thing with your channel rack where your instruments go or your piano roll, which is where we're actually going to be drawing in the notes. Okay, so <clears throat> what I usually do, I mean, it depends. Sometimes I find it easier to start with uh, drums, like percussion. Sometimes I find it easier to start with some little diddle I have in my head. If there's a diddle in my head, then sometimes I'll start with that. Um, and so now I will show you how to sort of get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these because I don't want fucking 808s. And I don't know how I feel about the fact that they already have a limiter set into the, this default file, but that's fine. So 
now you're ready now you're now you're you sort of got a handle on the the basic layout here and you're thinking to yourself okay i'm ready to start i'm ready to start actually making making some music making some sounds making some bops okay so on the left hand side this whole thing can look pretty fucking intimidating because there's a whole lot of folders and fucking things to click on now i won't lie your boy milty still doesn't really know what a lot of these things do i still there's a lot of them that i haven't clicked on before and i don't really know um what a lot of them do but i do know that um basically to get started you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to click click on this pink one that says plugin presets okay and this is where a lot of your sounds are going to be coming from you don't have to worry about vst you don't really have to worry about effects we want to go to generators generators are the things that are going to be making sounds for us there are basically two things on the side here that you guys are going to be working with plugin presets and generators so that you can you know drag all of these out here if, if you so desire and down here where it says packs and the reason that you want packs is because this is where you're going to be getting all of your drums so basically think plug-in presets for instruments packs for your drums because uh, as you click on the packs and you click down here to drums you can see all of these are kick drums all of these are kick drums each one sounds slightly different Okay, so I like that one. So I'm gonna drag that one in. So, so you can see what I'm doing here. I go, ooh, I like that. I like the sound of that. I can just click and drag it up here and it will replace that one that I had. It just said sampler. It was just a, like a blank slot. And <clears throat> now I've replaced it with this one. You don't have to drag it over top something else. If you have this one and you like that one too, you can just drag it underneath it and it'll just add a second instrument and you can drag a third if you wanted or a fourth whatever you want you can just keep adding as many as you want as many as you want uh but i don't want all those so i'm gonna delete these other ones um okay so now i'm like okay you know what i want to start coming up with a kick line uh i'm debating a way the easiest way to tell you guys how to do uh a drum line i think i'll go i think i'll go basic bitch for now we'll go basic bitch for you guys okay um so if you want to go basic bitch with it then what you want to do is up here this is sort of, i don't really understand what these little nubbies are called but these little nubbies are basically activation points for the drum and they color code them to go with the bar so if i was just to play this just the way i did it there See, we already basically got a banger happening right now. And we're just getting started. <laughs> so, um, and then, you know, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted it to be sort of, sort of different. So you can, you can sort of set those up however you want them to sound. Now, uh, if you're, if you want a little bit more control over it, um, you know, I, I prefer to, uh, I prefer to have a bit more control rather than dragging the kick onto the, onto your, your, uh, instruments. I will just drag the waveform onto my actual arrangement. So you can see here, it's actually just put the sound effect on my arrangement. And then I'd be like, okay, well, let's see, you know, how many of those do I want in a row, you know? And then I'll then I'll add them in like that. But for now, for the sake of simplicity, we're just gonna go with this for now. So um one of the other buttons that you guys should know about is up here at the top left hand corner. You can see I'm switching between the gr the green and the orange button. One of them, <clears throat> so when it's on pattern, it's gonna play whatever you have currently set up in in this sp specific pattern. 
So right now I'm working on pattern number one. Pattern number one, all it has is this drum and it has the drum hitting twice. Or wait, no, I fucked, I fucked something up. Hold on chat, wait, wait, what happened? Where did it go? Uh oh. Oh God, oh, I see, Never mind. Gotcha, okay, ignore that. Pretend that didn't happen. Um, okay, so that's all I have in my pattern one right now, right? So if I put, uh, if I put pattern one on my arrangement window, you can see here, that's all it has. It's just got that, that, that drum over and over and over again. So if I have it in pattern mode, you can see it's basically playing it off of my channel rack. If I have it in song mode, it's going to play everything all together that's found in the arrangement window. So you'll see the line, the line is gonna be going through the arrangement window. Okay. And once it reaches the end of your song, it's just gonna start looping back to the beginning again. So if I was to artificially extend this out, So you can see it's gonna it's gonna keep looping back to the beginning like that. And so let's say I wanted to, you know, two of those and then a break, and then I wanted to start again. You get the idea, right? Okay. So we've got a we've got our bass drum, and now I want to add. Another, I wanna add some more to that because as cool as it is to have a banger of a bass drum, you wanna have a bit more oomph, a bit more, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and find a kick to go with, or a, a snare to go with that. So once again, I'm looking at packs. Packs is where all the drums are. And I'm gonna look at, and I'm in drums mode audio. I find that the mode audio drums have some of the best drums I've ever heard. And once again, they have tons and fucking tons of snares. And they all sound quite different, so you're guaranteed to have a snare that you're gonna like. It's gotta be the right one though. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> Sounds like some angry German techno getting ready to be developed. Okay, so let's say I decide, you know what? I like that snare. So I'm gonna add that snare. And then I, and then I think to myself, you know what? The, the bass drum on every beat is a little bit overwhelming, so I'm gonna alternate it. I'm gonna have the bass drum hit, and then the snare, and then the bass drum, and then the snare. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself, all right, that's starting to come along, you know? Now I wanna, so basically, if you're looking for some advice on how to do drums, I advise three things. Bass drum, snare, or kick, snare, and hi-hat, okay? Hi-hats are, are the little sort of frilly, little ditzy sounding, like that. Sure. So now I figured to myself, I'm gonna add some hi-hats to it. Okay, so I wanna add some hi-hats, right? And it's gonna sound like this. I'm gonna add it on every alternating beat and it's gonna sound like this. So you can see it's starting to it's starting to develop a bit more structure. It's starting to, it's starting to actually sound like 
the beginnings of a song. Now, it's important at this point to um, explain to you um, the importance of patterns, okay? What I find is it is better to go with a simple pattern that you can then layer with other simple patterns rather than trying to fit in every single one of your drums doing something completely unique and interesting on top of each other in the same pattern. So what I mean by that is if I was doing this myself, I might go, okay, you know what? My first pattern is just going to be the drum, this. Okay. And then I think, all right, excellent. Now I can control the bass drum as I want. Then up here, you see in this little center area here where it says pattern number one, this is one of the areas that you're going to be using a lot, okay? This is one of the areas that you're gonna be using a lot is the pattern selector because you can then just scroll your mouse wheel up to create pattern number two. And you can see if I scroll back down to pattern number one, you see how it's still got those two lights there? because this is pattern number one, that's where the bass drum is. Pattern number two, as soon as I mouse wheel down, boop, boop, I said, boop. Okay, you can see how the lights disappeared. It's because there's nothing on pattern two yet. I need to add that myself. So now on pattern number two, I'm gonna add, <laughs> I'm gonna add our snare drum, okay? So our um, snare drum sounds like this. Okay, so if I wanna add pattern two, I just add it underneath pattern one in my arrangement window. I'll make this a little bit less dramatic. And now it's gonna sound like this. Okay. Okay. And I think to myself, great. Now I know that pattern one is controlling the bass drum, pattern two is controlling the snare. So if, you know, let's say I have, um, Let's say I have all of these, whoops. I'll say I have all of these. And I figure, mm, I, want, I want a part where I don't hear any bass drum. Then I can just remove the part that has a bass drum and it sounds like this. Okay. And then the third pattern, I'm gonna go up here once again, mouse wheel up to pattern three, which is blank, because we haven't done anything with that yet. This is where I'm gonna add my hi-hat. Which sounds like this. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna add pattern number three on top of that on my arrangement window, and it sounds like this. Okay, pretty straightforward. One thing that I wanna let you guys know, okay, especially when you guys are just starting out making music. Um, if you, if you uh, I, I'm, I'm pressing space bar to stop and, and start my music. This is all being done with the space bar. And I'm so excited by music that I'm not even using my thumb to press the space bar, figure that one out. Um, if you find that you're pressing space and nothing's happening, it's not making sound like you're, you're not hearing the sound that's in your arrangement window like it should be. Um, what The one thing that you wanna check is this up here in the corner, okay? I, this this was my number one mistake when I first started making music. I, I would forget that I was either on pattern mode or on song mode. And once again, to clarify the difference, chat, if you want to hear what's going on in this big window here, you need to make sure that you're on song mode because otherwise it's just gonna be playing what's in your, your, ch your uh, channel rack, which for me is the, is the hi-hats, right? Because I'm looking at pattern number three right now. You can see it scrolling. Hold on, watch. You can see here, you can see that, that bar, whoops. You can see the bar that's scrolling by. It's just playing this pattern over and over and over again. You can see here, it's just looping the pattern over and over. And I'd sit there thinking, what the fuck? Why is it not playing my song? God damn it. And then I'd realize, oh yeah, I'm in fucking pattern mode. So you click on song mode. Back we go to the bop, okay? Okay. So now we've got the drums. 
now we've got a now we've got a good base and i'm just going to get caught up real quick before i get too carried away because now we're going to start adding some ding, 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 some base okay uh gamer bunny thank you for the 13 months dude spaz matt good morning chat good morning milton hope you and chat have an amazing day on my birthday dude happy fifth birthday spaz matt super exciting man thanks for the five months matt relax thanks for the 10 months man uh little red sm thank you for the three months in a row happy three months milty love you in the best squad you guys are seriously so cool and always make me laugh even on a bad day thank you for being you well thank you for the 13 uh sorry thank you for the three month resub little red i appreciate you happy monday to you uh chat can i see some feels birthday mans in chat for spaz matt you just turned 30 spaz matt fuck it's all downhill from here buddy um uh, katie bugs thank you for the 13 months sending lots of love your way gosky gator my favorite kind of gator is the gosky kind thanks for the 21 months man my fair lady thank you for the 16 months you love me my fair lady well i love you more it's a competition and i win okay sn lab thanks for the six months six months in and this is the best and only channel i'm subscribed to knock out some jams milton hey buddy thank you for the half a year lab but i appreciate you man thanks for coming back buddy mish 665 thanks for gifting that sub to brigade leader uh the tooth 77 thank you for the four months nebu 83 thanks for the 21 months dude 21 months love you milton and chat well we love you more and the tooth you are the beautiful person you are beautiful not me woolly bear thanks for the 100 bits two snare drums and a hi-hat fall off a cliff but um <sighs> cherry blue hey thanks for the 17 months i like your pattern betch moan what the fuck <laughs> uh ethan turtle thanks for the 14 months hi melty i hope you had a great weekend i just want to say that all of chat loves you and hope that you're sincerely doing well cheers man and i hope once COVID is over i can uh you can have some meetups or some irl streams i don't know i love you well ethan turtle yes to all of that once COVID is done i want to i want to take aaron on a road trip through the states i want to i want to drive through every single united state including hawaii so it's going to be interesting trying to drive there but um Anyways, I want to drive through every state with Aaron, so I want to have uh, I want to have meetups in like every state if we can. I want to take like at some point in the next few years, I want to take like six months off, and I want to um, I want to I want to drive to every state. So, anyways, if you guys want a chance to meet Milty and Aaron, there's a good chance we'll be coming to a state near you. And if you don't leave, live in North America, well, fuck. There's only so much I can goddamn do. Okay. <laughs> Chris the impressive thanks for giving that sub to late night hero uh smoke eater 17 thanks for the 18 months Jim Jam 13 17 thank you for the four months my friend McRaman 22 thanks for the four months and the best at being humble thank you for the six months love you friend say it back all right back to the song so now as you remember chat once again just a little refresher for you here if you're starting out your project and you want to get going with um you want to get going with your your song first i always advise starting with drums okay fine chat fine the best of being humble i love you back um you want to start with your drums which are going to be down here on the left hand side under packs you're just going to single click on the packs thing it'll open up a bunch of these different these different menus here and i click on drums mode audio and that's where i find the um that's where you find the uh the drums uh cat box hi milton can i ask you something does your job as a streamer give you a solid income to plan with for the future or are there many ups and downs in different months um yeah you know it's uh, streaming there's definitely waves there's definitely waves if you're looking for a career that has absolute job security and guaranteed uh guaranteed revenue revenue uh you know streamline i don't know that streaming is necessarily quite that way you, you definitely have to learn to roll with it you have, definitely have to roll learn to roll with it there's not a there's not a very there's not a there's not a lot of i i can't do too much forecasting ahead so i i love it and i want to do this for the rest of my life but um nj got caught for kicking that girl in the wrong place xd Now, 
Nero Johnson had a tough weekend without us, man. Okay, anyways, left-hand side chat, you look at the packs window, uh, you click on that, you expand drums in mode audio, that'll give you access to all your drums. I always suggest starting with a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. Gives you a fairly rounded out sound like that. Okay, so now we've got our drums. It's, we can add more to it later if we want. You can add or take away whatever you want, whenever you want, but let's start adding some actual sounds. So rather than going to packs, now on the left-hand side, you're gonna click on plugin presets. You don't even have to do it this way. You can go here and just click to add one of these if you want. You can, you can click the button here to add an instrument, or you can go to plugin presets and generators and pick one from here. Each of these, I suggest you just take and fuck with it. Just fuck with it. Just take it and fuck with it. Fuck with it. Just fuck with it. See what you like. Um, that's the best way to do it. I'm gonna try out transistor bass. Okay, maybe I won't. Did I even tell you guys the right, the right way to go? Did I even tell you the right thing to do? I think I did. Give me a second. Yes, I think I did. Or is it supposed to be here? No, it's not supposed to be there. I usually, I usually do it here. I didn't want to confu confuse you guys, but I usually do it here. This part I find helps if you click the little plus button here, like I want to add another instrument. I find that this one helps because it divides them into your different things. Like you can see synth. So those are just your different synths. There are special synths. There are patchers. There's miscellaneous. There's MIDI. There's drums. And so we're looking for synth, and I want to go with something bassy. So I'm going to go with eeny, meeny, miny. I'm going to go with GMS. So once again, this probably looks a little bit overwhelming, right? But you can see that if we were to just press a button on our keyboard. We can't see when you open up the sub menus. Oh, that's weird. It's gotta be, it's something to do with the window capture, my bad. Um, that's fine. Basically, I see now what you mean. Ah, isn't that strange? Okay, my bad. Uh, but basically, it's it's pretty easy to explain. When I, when I do this, you can't see it right now, but it just, you'll see, I'll even move my little face here. Right underneath this window, a big column will open with all of the different plugins that you have, and it will subdivide them. It's like synth and drums and blah, blah, blah. All, all these different options. And you, a lot of the names of synths and stuff like that is not gonna make much sense to you. Just take it and fuck around with it. If you pick something and you don't understand how it works, you can't get it to work, you just right click and delete it and add something else. GMS is one that I'm familiar with. I've used it a lot, so I'm gonna go with GMS. Now, one of the um one of the things that you're gonna need to sort of fuck around with with the different instruments okay is um you're gonna look for like clickable windows in here that allow you to sort of change the instrument that you're using now this might be super confusing you'll learn you'll learn sort of what i mean as you continue to fuck around with fl studio but for example here if I want it to be a different instrument, I wouldn't really know what to click. Am I clicking on the beast or sign or saw or what the fuck am I clicking on? So what you can do is if you click this window here, a new window pops up and it gives you all these, like this is just one synth. This is one instrument that we picked out of our generators and it has all these different bases. It has all these different leads. It has all these different pads and textures. It has a bunch of different special effects. It has tons and tons and tons of options. And they all sound very different. Like. <laughs> so you can see it, it start it, it's easy for things to start coming together pretty quick so they have tons of different options you just pick whatever you want
Okay. So. I'm going to go with that one. I like the sound of that. That's kind of cool. So, now that I've picked that, I can just close this if I want. Now you'll see, we have pattern one, we have pattern two, we have pattern three. Now that we have, I've selected a base, I wanna add that as another pattern so that I can add and remove it and alter it however I want, right? So once again, I come up to the pattern window up here in the middle and I scroll up to create pattern number four, which didn't previously exist until just this very moment. I can plop pattern number four in there. You can see it's blank because I haven't added anything. Now here is the other most operative uh, element of FL Studio that you're going to use. And that element is um, the piano roll, okay? Because the piano roll is where you're actually going to be drawing in your notes. So up here at the top, remember the, these buttons, a lot of them, I don't know what the fuck all these ones do over here, I just ignore them. One that you're gonna use is the piano roll. You can click this button right here, it says view piano roll. You can click on it and it'll open the piano roll like that. Or you can right click the instrument that you're working with and up at the very top, oh, you can't see that either, okay. Well, when you right click on this, that's annoying as F, F and S, isn't it? Anyways, that's okay, you don't need to see it. The point is when you right click on an instrument up at the very top, it says piano roll, you just click on it. Um, so, um, all you want to do is, uh, once you have your piano roll open like this, you can, um, you can see that if you click on a different note, it's going to give you a different sound, right? This sounds like me after I try Haribo sugarless gummy bears. Um, if you share your screen in OBS instead of the application, we'll show your menu. I know, but I don't want to because for whatever reason, FL Studio likes to just randomly show um, pieces of your personal information. Like, they're like, oh, Hello there, Milton Tanya Pike at 1234 Fake Street in downtown Toronto. Postal code V1Fake195. Hey, glad to see you're working on a song. So I don't really want that to happen. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. So anyways, so I think to myself, yeah, you know what? I like this. That's a good baseline. So this is the cool thing about the piano roll. You can, as soon as you just click with your mouse. That sounds great. No, it sounds terrible. So uh, every time you click a note, it's just gonna put down, you know, it'll put notes wherever, wherever you're clicking. Makes it really easy. And then once again, really easy. All you have to do is mouse over the side of, um, the uh, all you have to do is mouse over the side of the note and click to drag to make the note shorter or longer, however long you want to make the note. Okay, so let's say, let's say I want two of those back to back, and then for this one, I wanted to do something sort of different, right? So uh, this is gonna look this is gonna look a little bit advanced, but what I can do is um, I wonder if this will this work if I click on that? No, it won't. That's all right. That's fine. I don't need to do that. So I like that. And in fact, I want that to I want that to repeat one more time. So all I'm doing here is uh, if I want to highlight a section of the screen, because if you just try to click and drag, nothing will happen. It'll just put a pattern there. You hold control and then click and drag, and it'll highlight whatever you want. If I let control of control, if I let go of uh, my, my mouse, you know, then I can select something, but you have to hold control to highlight and select, and then just control C, control V, and then I can drag it wherever I want. So. I might even want it one more time. 
One more time. Okay, control V. And then I wanted to do something a little different here, you know, mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna add another pattern and you can see over in our channel rack that it's blank again. So I'm gonna click here, hit piano roll. Sometimes you gotta do it twice. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna do this and put that there instead. So it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's how it's gonna end up sounding. So let's say I'm thinking to myself, yeah, you know, that sounds kind of fucking cool. That sounds, that sounds kind of neat. I'm liking the way that that sounds so far. In fact, I love it so much that it's time for a stretch break. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. I'm going to run upstairs and I'll be right back. Okay. If you guys have been sitting for the last hour and two minutes, it is time to get up and have a stretch. You will get up. You will stretch. You will like it. You will not type nopers in chat. And then I'll be right back and we'll continue with the tutorial. Okay. All right. I'll be right back chat. <laughs> you get up and stretch right now, right now chat. Okay. Oh. Why do I see someone in chat advocating for whipping out the coke and sniffing some dicks? What the fuck is that? All right. Joke's on you. I did whip out the coke. Coca Cola. This is not a sponsored message, but it could be, motherfuckers. All right. Anyways. Um, so we've got our bass. We've got our kick. We've got our snum. Our snum. The problem is the problem with the mic is that it's working. That's what's wrong. What the fuck, Neural Johnson? We've got the snum, or my my abbreviation for snare drum that I just came came up with. We got the kick, the kick drum. If a snare drum is a snum, then a kick drum is a different instrument. Anyways, we've got our hi-hat, we've got our bass drum, and now we want to, uh, <laughs> now we want to chat, stop it. Now we want to add some synth on top of that, right? Okay. I've decided something chat. I've decided that I want this to actually be one measure longer. So I'm going to put that there. I've decided, you know what? For my pattern five, if, if you ever, if you ever wanting a shortcut to get to your piano roll, you don't always have to click the button up here. You don't always have to right click the instrument and hit piano roll. You can just, you see here where it's got these, it's got the actual notes drawn out on my channel rack. You can just click that and it'll open or close your piano roll. So I decide, you know what? I want that to last one measure longer. So pattern five is gonna be this. And if I then want it to drop down, then I can go pattern six, piano roll, piano roll, and draw that in, okay? 
put pattern six there. Whoops. Put pattern six. <sighs> put pattern six there. And then it'll sound like this. Okay, so now I wanna add some synth to it, right? We've got that, that sounds pretty good. One of the ones that I think is super cool that you guys will probably use a lot of and you guys can probably relate to is um, it's down when you, when you click the little plus window like this. I wonder if I can, whoops. If I do this, add, no, you guys still can't see that. That's so bizarre. That's so bizarre. That is bazaar. Um, when you click on this, this little plus window down near the bottom about the, if you're looking at my mouse down about this far down on the window, you'll see an option called toxic biohazard. You guys can probably relate to that, uh, but it's actually an excellent, excellent um, VST. Oh, I added the drum axe. I don't want that. Okay. So I'm going to go to pattern seven now, right? I want a blank pattern. And this pattern is going to be for my, um, for my synth. So now I can go through here and I can, once again, so you can see it's, it's kind of hard to tell where you need to click in order to see the different instrument options that are available. It's usually, it usually looks like it's something called like program on GMS here. You can see it says program. And then it says angry badgers is the name of the, the, instrument that we're using here on toxic biohazard you can see up at the very top it says program and then underneath that it's got aquatone whatever 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 so if i click on that then it gives me the options of different things that i can pick from ambient textures faces best default keyboards leads pads and they have tons and tons of options so if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself like well this is cool but you know, I don't know that I, I don't know that I want to make bops with drums and snares and shit like that. Um, I want to just make ambient sort of like background music. So easy to do, dude. So easy to do. You're gonna want to look for things like pads. Pads are your long held notes in the background. Think about the cool sort of stuff you can do with this. This would, even just holding this one note would be great for setting um, like tension in the background during like a, a some, some hostage negotiation scene in GTA, right? Imagine this is just going on in the background and there's totally different sounding ones. So, and you can do whatever you want with it. All sorts of crazy shit. Okay, so anyways, so I wanna lead, right? Okay, let's hear. Oh God, that's a little shrill, okay. Wah, 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 wah. Ew. I always advise to go through your uh, instrument list with your volume turned down a little bit because it can be a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> okay, let's see. So 
So this this is what you're gonna what you're going to find is that when you're making music, the most time consuming component will always be picking your instruments. Take take your time. Don't rush it. You can always come back to it. Okay. So uh, take your time when you're picking your instruments. Wait until you find the one that you really like, and then go with that. Um, so that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. Not finding many good ones in Toxic. And you'll find that many people might recommend different instruments, this one or that one, but it all depends on the sound that you're going for. I like that one. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so I've picked the instrument that I want. And once again, the once, one of the cool things about this is that if you really wanna make your sound as unique as humanly possible, uh, you can just fuck with any of these settings that you want in here. All of these settings in here, just start fucking with them. Twisting knobs, clicking options, whatever you want. Because the point is at the end of the day, if you fuck it up beyond recognition and you hate it, um, you can just delete the instrument, add it all over again, and it'll be reset. Wes Keltner with a hundred bits says, use a glockenspiel, you coward. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast, Wes. <laughs> if I find a glockenspiel, I will, I will use it, Wes. In your honor, I will, no, Chad, do not e actually eat shit, okay? I'm not, a, no. That was a joke, okay? What have you guys been teaching Neural Johnson? What the fuck is Neural Johnson talking about? <laughs> Neural Johnson, what the fuck are you talking about? One note with a glockenspiel in the outro, that's all I ask? Deal, dude. I'm not even kidding, I'm gonna make it happen. Okay, so once again, so I've picked my synth, right? I, I want to add it. I'm on pattern seven, which is a pattern that hasn't been used before. If you're clicking through all of your other patterns, like watch, watch this part, chat. Hold on. Watch. Watch, watch where Milty goes. Okay. Watch, watch this section up here. Okay. Watch the channel rack. If I'm flicking through my patterns, you can see all of them have. All of them are used, so I just sort of keep going until I hit one that I haven't used before. You can also see that your number of patterns are being tracked here. So if you're wondering which is your next available pattern slot, well, if I'm looking here and I can see that there are six patterns in use, then I know that my next one's gonna be seven. So if I just mouse up to pattern seven, easy pleasy. Okay, Neural Johnson, that's it. You're getting a 10 minute timeout, fucko. You're getting a 10 minute timeout for that shit. Asking me fucking Neural Johnson says, can you play GTA RP? Yeah, you're, you're, you're sitting in the fucking boo-boo box for 10 minutes for that shit. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'm on pattern seven, which is a blank pattern. So I know that I can start adding my instruments however I want. Chat, can I take this opportunity to say something? And I mean this sincerely, okay? If you guys end up picking up FL Studio and fucking around with it, um, I think we should create a channel somewhere in our discord where we can share the music that we make or whatever, because I would love to hear the sorts of things that you guys make. So if you're, if you're uh, interested, if you make some music and you want to know what someone else thinks, feel free to DM it to me. I'm still, I still get a lot of DMS uh, each day and I can't, I can't often respond to m the majority of them. But if you send me a song, I will do my best to at least listen to it. I might not be able to give detailed feedback, but I'll do my best to listen to it. Anyways, uh, okay, I've got my instrument, I've got my lead, I'm on pattern seven, I'm gonna click here. Now here's an important thing that I, I didn't really talk about before and I'm just gonna discuss right now. I found this to be particularly helpful when I first started out making music. In fact, maybe I, well, Basically, what I'm trying to say is this. When I first started making music, it would just look like this. 
it would just look like what you're seeing right now. I would just have five or six layers layered on top of each other. Because what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a whole bunch of parts that sound good together. And then I mix and match the order. Like I'll, I'll mix and match the order afterwards. Um, I'll, I'll sort of show you what I mean here. So anyway, so I'm going to bring these back. Because it's probably a little bit overwhelming to try to think of how you're going to structure a song right from the get-go. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, so I like that. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make a lead line. Oh, whoops. Okay, pattern seven. Excellent. I kind of like that. Mm hmm. I wonder if I should make them all half beats. Okay, so that sounds cool. Okay, so now where it changes, it changes um, key. In fact, here I might want to do something else. So if you're if you're looking at this and you're like, okay, these are all pattern seven, right? All of these along here are pattern seven. Now, if I wanted one of them to be slightly different, I can't just, you know, I can't just double click here and start editing it because now it's going to change all of them. right and that that's doesn't work so if i want to uh, if i want to edit just one to make it different then you can click on the corner you click on the little piano note and you guys aren't going to be able to see this window but it brings up a smaller little box halfway down there's an option that says make unique unique new york make unique and what that does is you'll see it just turned it into pattern number eight it just turns it into a new pattern. So now I can go in there and edit this one and it's only going to edit this one. I like that actually. Okay, so I'm going to alternate it like this. That actually doesn't sound too bad just like that. Hmm, that's actually kind of cool. Okay. All right, so now I've got my kick drum, snare. Uh, I've got my uh hi hats i've got my bass i've got my lead uh lobo preto says when in song mode while playback is on can you live record via a keyboard when the record button is pressed uh know that from another daw yes you can yes you can um basically this everyone who's just learning fl studio for the first time ignore what i'm about to say uh, but Lobo Preto, basically, yes. If you have your keyboard plugged in and it's already being recognized by FL Studio, then what I could do is turn on record and hit play. And it will it will start um it will start recording whatever I'm playing into the into the playlist. So yes, you can do that. Okay, so Okay, so I'm liking this. Now, uh, I'm going to teach you guys another little trick, okay? I'm going to teach you guys another little trick when it comes to uh, your snums and your cums, okay? Um, and that is in your mixer, okay? 
So here's here's what you need. This is an important part. This might seem like a little like a, a bit a bit of an information dump on you, but this is an important part. This is an important part to pay attention to. So everyone get your listening earballs on and pay the fuck attention because this part's important. One of the most important parts about developing a song is balancing the volume levels of your various instruments. There are three incredibly important parts of making music. Number one is right. is putting the music into FL studio. Okay. Dump all that info all over my face. What the fuck dump on me, Milton. Ew. What the fuck? Um, so making the music doing what I did there, picking your, your drums and your basses and your synths and your blah, 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 blah. That's the first important part. The second important part is mixing and mixing is where you're balancing the audio levels because like we already, we've already seen some, um, some instruments are going to be way louder than others. And if you just throw it in there, um, Oh, I see what you meant, Lobo. I see. Ah, okay. I thought you were asking me. I got you. Um, if you just leave them at the default volume that FL Studio picks, some of them are going to get completely drowned out. They're going to get totally, totally muddied and you're not even going to hear them. So it's important to balance the audio of all of your instruments. Now, there are two methods of doing this. The first method is the bad way, so don't do it this way. I'm just gonna show you so that you don't do it this way, okay? And that is to go up here, whoops, to go up here and tweak these, these, these dials. These dials here, these, this, this. Can you see my, where's my cursor? Why can't I see, oh, that's why. Okay, so here, if you look where my cursor is, right in front of my eyeballs, this little this little dial here you can use this to control the in, the volume of your different instruments don't do it this way don't do it that way do it in the mixer okay you can do it here don't do it that way all right don't do it that way i'm going to show you the way that might seem a little bit m a little bit more labor intensive but is so much better of an idea in the long run and this no do not do it that way get your nodders out of here Okay, so what you want to do, chat, and I know, once again, I know that this seems like a pain, but I promise it's worth it, is beside each instrument here, beside every single instrument, you're going to set it to a different number. So I've got my, my first instrument here is my, uh, my kick drum. So if you look, I'm looking at my channel rack, this one right here. Uh, I'm going to set the, my first kick drum to insert number one. Now watch my watch my mixer. You can see how it's flicking back and forth. What I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, take my kick drum, send it to my mixer channel number one. And then I'm gonna go down to my snare drum and I'm gonna say, send my snare drum to insert number two. And then I'm gonna go down to my hi-hat and I'm gonna say, send my hi-hat to mixer number three. And then my bass, send my bass to mixer number four, send my lead synth to insert number five. Okay, and what this allows me to do, you can see, I can listen to what's sort of louder than the other things. So let's say I decided, you know what? The snare is a little bit intense. Then I'll drop the snare to drum down. So, one piece of advice I have right now is I find one of the best things to do is to um, start uh, dropping all of the, uh, I draw, I'll, I'll, when I like start making a file, I will automatically drop all of the inserts down. It's easier to start with your stuff being quieter and then balance it out later than to start with everything at max volume right away, okay? So, okay, so you can see it changes the dynamic quite interestingly once you start fucking with it. Since I've already started making it like this, I'm just gonna tweak it. 
au natural. Okay. Now here's the other here's the other important part about this. I know this is a lot of information to process, but you guys can feel free to go back and watch this VOD through whenever you want. Um, and that is how to add effects, okay? And I'm gonna show you using um, using our lead. So let's say that sounds cool. I like it, but I want a little bit more like depth. I want a little bit more meat to it. I want it to sound a little bit more involved. So what you can do is over here where your guys fucking text is in the goddamn way is, uh, does it work if I click on that? Oh, you guys still can't see it. Okay. That sucks. But that's all right. You guys are going to be able to see when you, when you take the program out for a spin. All of these items that are along here along the side, this is where you can add your own effects. Okay? This is where you can add your own effects. I often use reverb. So you'll see an option in here if I, if I can find it, which hopefully I can. It looks like they only have Fruity Reverb 2, which is a terrible mistake on their part. It's not nearly as good as Fruity Reverb 1. But that's okay. Let me see if I can actually, hold on. More plugins. Add. Give me Fruity Reverb. Where is Fruity Reverb? Uh, it might not be in there. Damn fart heck sh shoot flip. That's fine. Anyways, so let's say I like this. But I want it to sound a little bit more rounded out, right? So I'm gonna go over here to my mixer. I'm I'm looking at insert number five, which is where my my lead is going to. I come over to the side here, I click on slot number one, and up near the top, you'll see it has controller, delay reverb, distortion, dynamics. You can do some pretty fucking cool shit with some very low effort. For example, let's say I just decided that I was gonna add hardcore to this instrument. Listen to it. Okay, a little loud. And it starts to make it sound like an electronic guitar. Once again, some are much louder than others. Okay. But anyways, that's not the one I was gonna show. I was gonna say, what if I wanted to add reverb? So it makes it sound like this. See, this is with it off. If we turn it on. So you can, you can fuck around with adding different effects as you see fit. There are tons of tons and tons of different options. You can add uh, parametric equalizers which can do things like make it sound like it's coming through an old fashioned radio, for example, like our presets, old telephone. Okay. So I'm not gonna use any of those for right now because I don't want to. Actually, you know what? I might leave that on because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with it. I'll leave it there. I'll mute it for now, but I'll uh, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with it. God damn it. Why? Okay, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with it. So I'll turn it off for now. Okay, and I will unsolo that track.
All right. I'm going to add another I'm going to add another lead on top of that to continue sort of rounding out our sound. And to get that other lead, I'm going to add in so what I've done here once again up here in my channel rack, I'm clicking on the little plus symbol which brings up all my different options for instruments and I'm going to scroll down to say mm, harmless. Oh fuck. So what I'll, sometimes what I'll do when an instrument is that loud right off the bat, I'll add it in, I'll add it in here like I did, right? And then I'll go to my channel mixer and I'll go, oh, okay, holy fuck. I'm using inserts one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna add this to insert six. I'm gonna go to my fucking mixer and I'm gonna turn that shit way down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Chad, I did a bad. Okay, no, we're all right. <laughs> so you'll hear you you don't you don't need to necessarily know how to play the piano or anything like that you can literally just pick the <laughs> get the fuck out of here get your fucking dank hacker mans out of here that's not how i sound so you guys can't see this this menu but uh once again with with a lot of these these instruments one of the first things that i'll try to do is you know i'm looking at this i can't really see any place to uh to choose a program or anything like that but you'll see up here where it says presets up on the top right hand corner you're always sort of looking for something that says program or presets or something like that because that's what will allow you to pick between a bunch of different options that's what allows you to rather than having to tweak every single one of these dials yourself you're allowed to go through a lot of pre different preset additions so let's see some of their different preset additions and see what i think of them Sounds like Super Mario. Jesus. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Dian word, yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> What are they cycling through now? Whatever it is, is pissing me off. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. So. I'm gonna, 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 I'm gonna go here to pattern eight, pattern nine, pardon me. And I'm gonna start adding some of these in. Like that, like that. Interesting, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. 
Huh. I kind of like that. Okay. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit plain Jane, and I don't really like that the, it takes a while for the sound to kick in, so I'm actually going to skip that one. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck me. So you can see the, the audio balancing can be a little bit tricky to do sometimes. Some things will surprise you with how fucking loud they are. That's actually not bad though. And so I think what I'll do here is I actually really like that, that sound. So now I am indeed going to add a reverb to it. I fucking wish I had Fruity Reverb 1. Fruity Reverb 2 sucks butt cheeks, man. Presets, we'll go large hall. Okay. Sounds like an air raid siren. Now I'm going to try to add something else to it. Something a little bit more uh, higher level. Higher level. I'm gonna try something like, I'm happy with that. So one of the things you'll notice in here that is uh, you probably have fruity reverb one, but it's usually hidden by default. Well, that's what I thought, but I was trying to go here to add more, uh, add more plugins, but uh, view plugin picker maybe. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. The fuck is all this? View, add, that's the thing is I wanted to like, oh, uh, manage plugins. Oh, is this, oh my guy. Oh my guy. Yes. Yes. And how do I make that one go in? How do I add that one in? Add, go, go in. Go. Uh, you are now included. You will be included now. Um, I wonder if that did it. Let's see. Sure didn't. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, fucking big pogs in my pee hole. Excellent. Okay. Can you restart? I think Milton, can I get my own? Okay, hold on chat. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new file here. We'll start again for Neural Johnson. Neural Johnson might have fallen a bit behind. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that Neural Johnson, fuck you. So one thing to note here, chat, check it out. This is an important thing to note. 
the order that you put your effects up here matters. It goes from, it will apply the first effect that you have in the list and then the next effect and the next effect and so on and so on and so on. So here you can hear that what I have right now is I have that, uh, I have the gate first and then I have reverb. But if I reverse the order, listen. So basically what's happening is when I have it in this order, it's using the gate to make it do that trippy sort of choppy sound. And then it's adding reverb afterwards. If I have it the other way around, it's gonna add the reverb, the echoey sound. It's gonna add that first and then it's going to cut the sound like this. But if I ask it to cut the sound first and then add the reverb, you can hear it does it afterwards. I guess I'm a bit out of the loop. Who or what is Neural Johnson? Neural Johnson is a piece of shit. <laughs> no, Neural Johnson is a, it's a bot. It's a predictive text bot that tries to learn by reading chat and then regurgitate uh, thoughts of its own based on things that are said in chat. Oh, relax, <gasps> chat. Fuck Neural Johnson, okay? Um, uh, chat, the most important thing to learn in FL Studio is save your file like this, name, number, so control, so for example, six song underscore zero one. Then after that, every time you press control N, it saves incrementally, so it makes six song O2, six song O3. That way, if a file corrupts, you'll always have a recent version to fall back on. Oh, that's actually a great idea. I didn't know that. I'm learning things with FL Studio at the same time, chat. Okay, so now check it ch 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 check it out okay so okay go here Now here's the trick that I'm gonna show you guys. So. Here's the trick that I'm gonna show you guys. And this is, one of, this is one of the last real pieces of advice that I need to give you guys for now. We can go into some more intensive, uh, some more intensive tutorials in the future. This one is already almost two hours long so far. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is once I feel like I have sort of given you a good, uh, grasp for um how to make music i'm gonna make a song i'm going to uh, i before the stream is over today i am going to make and finish a song i'm gonna develop this song into something that i actually like and i'm gonna wrap it up and fucking ship it out okay and so the rest of the stream after that point you guys can sort of watch and pick up little trips along tick trip tip chart turds pick up little turds along the way and watch how I make my music. Uh, but one of the one of the things that I want to show you guys, because it's an important it's an important lesson. And this is going to be the most confusing part of the day, probably. So just be patient with it, and realize that it's 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 a pro it's a learning process. You'll get better as you go. Uh, stop waving at Neural Johnson, Chad. He's been here the entire stream. He doesn't need you to fucking wave at him. Um, uh, the last sort of lesson that I want you guys to learn today is called automation clips okay and so here's sort of how this works let's say i like the way that this sounds i like the way it sounds but i want it to have an interesting intro so what i'm gonna do is i'm once again if i want to highlight stuff i control and click and drag right i control I hold control and I click and I drag. I'm gonna move this over, say, four spots. And I'm gonna take this and in fact, I've decided what I'm actually gonna do here is, whoops, like that. Take those two and put them here. 
Now, this is so what an automation clip does is an automation uh, an automation clip allows you to basically decide how you want to filter in and out various things. Volume, if you want to control the volume for a certain instrument manually as the song goes along, then uh, you do things like this, right? So um, this is what we have to start off our song right now. Just starts like this. Okay, so that's that's a, that's a little bit uh, sudden, but I'll sort of show you guys what I mean. So I don't want it to just start like that because that's kind of boring. I want it to sort of transition into something more that feels more intentional. So I go to my mixer, I go to my instrument that I'm on right now, which is the not the right one I that wait is that the right hold on now I chose the wrong fucking instrument that's fine don't worry about it chat so I'm gonna go to the correct instrument which is rack number four and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add uh fruity parametric EQ2 I'm going to set it to old telephone Okay, so as you can hear, it's making it sound like it's coming out of an old telephone, right? But I don't want it to stay that way. I want it to sound like it's starting out, it's starting out sounding kind of muffled and gets clearer as it approaches the start of the song. So what I do here, this, this is where it's sort of confusing, but this is something that's worth practicing, right? This is what it sounds like when it's on. This is what it sounds like when it's off. I want it to be a smooth transition from this into that as the song gets ready to launch. So what I do here, you see this little, if you look above me, this is where, this is where my mouse is, where I'm, where I'm pointing right now. If you see that little, that little circle that's, that's moving right now, that's the amount of EQ that I'm allowing to come through. So... And basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to start all the way on and then gradually filter off as it gets ready for the start of the song like this. Okay, so in order to do that, we create what is called an automation clip. It's a it's a confusing fucking piece of terminology that I don't understand. I don't know why, why it says automation clip, but anyways. So what I do is I, I wanna go up here and I wanna say, okay, I want the automation clip to last this long. I want it to be just for the intro of the song. So I'm gonna highlight this area here. What I'm doing here is I'm right clicking and I'm dragging. So whoops, right click. I right click and I drag, whoopsie daisy. Right click and I drag. And then I go back to my mixer. I'm looking at instrument number four. I'm looking at the parametric EQ. It's full right now, which is good because that's how I want it to start. And I'm gonna hit right click. And then halfway down, it says create automation clip. And I'm gonna do that, bang. And it just gave us this right here. You can see this. This bar that it just gave us, this, this rectangle that it just gave us, this is what is controlling the EQ mix. So, if I was to just play the song, it just sounds like this, right? Which, okay. That's obviously not what I want. What I want is I want it to do this. I want it to start out maxed and I want it to end up off completely. So that's what I do. Now, what this automation clip is saying is that for this specific instrument here, I mean, I could move this, I could move this around and it would, it would affect it later on, but as long as these two parts are lined up, it is going to filter out that EQ2 for this duration of time. I could extend it if I wanted, and make it filter out over this amount of time, but I don't want it to. I want it to filter out over this amount of time. So I leave it like that. Now listen to it. Okay. 
Okay. So that's uh that's that's an important part. And you can do the same thing with reverb. You can do the same thing with um you can do the same thing with any of your any of your special effects that you use. For example, this is this is just a, as a proof of concept. Um, I will. So I've I've basically um, nixed that for now. So that's not going to be affecting anything anymore. I'm going to go here and I'm going to add in hardcore. So let's not blow out our eardrums here. Well, let's say that that's what I wanted, right? Let's say I wanted to start out like that and I wanted it to get more normal over time. Then I would once again, highlight the area that I want to affect. I would go to my mixer. I would find the little wheel beside the special effect that I want, this little wheel here, right? I would right click this wheel and I would hit create automation clip, right? Cause I don't want to blow you chat. I don't want to blow you out chat. Same idea. I want it to start out intense and I want it to finish all over my face. I mean, I want it to finish at a, at a manageable level. So it's gonna sound like this. Right, now I hate the way that that sounds, but that's okay, because I'm not planning on using hardcore anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Yup. And turn this back on because I like the way that this sounds now here's just a little piece of sort of um, songwriting uh, song structuring advice that perhaps I can sprinkle into your day is uh beep beep boop nodders thanks neural johnson dark storm how are you i don't want to get blown i'm not coming back. come on man just let me blow you out bro okay so what i want to do here is if i were starting the song i want the song to 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 not to just launch straight into the thick of everything i'm going to get rid of some of it here so i'm going to do something like this Okay, so I've realized one problem that I need to fix. That's okay though. That is that it doesn't quite line up timing way, timing wise the way that it should, unless I do this. There, now it's better. So basically what I mean by that is one of the, one of the ways that I'll start writing music and I'll sort of show you what I mean over here to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as well. Save as save as um chathu chathu song one okay um normally what i'll do is i'll want to create something that sounds kind of cool so i will uh i'll pick a bass let's go with um we'll go with a toxic biohazard just to sort of expand upon what I mean here. Uh, with the bass, we'll go with, where's that fucking cool sounding one? Oh, maybe I don't have it yet. Maybe I still need to download it. Might still need to download it, but that's okay. I'll sort of, I'll expand upon what I mean in a pretty quick demonstration here, okay? So, go here, go here, uh, piano list.
Okay, this is good. This is good so far. I'm gonna add something else. I'm gonna add, say, morphine. And I'm gonna add a keyboard. Okay, uh-huh. Okay. Piano roll, pattern 11. I'm actually gonna drop all these down an octave. Okay. Okay, so I've got something like that, right? And maybe I want to add some more. I'm going to add, say, a citrus. I'm going to add, um, what's something else that I can add in here? I'm going to add, say, um, synth string. No, short synth. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. So, turn this down a little bit. This this might seem like you have no idea what I'm talking about. It'll make sense in a minute. And I think it's important to talk about. Okay. Add another pattern here. Whoops. Pattern 12. No, I don't like that. I don't like that it's got such an intense echo on it. God, they got some weird sounding shit. Okay, good enough. Sure. Okay. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna add another couple and then I'll, I'll sort of expand upon why I'm doing this and what I'm getting at. Okay, we'll add a harmor, turn it down. All right, presets, we'll go with a lead. Anal prenaps, oh, I mean oral synapse. Hey, stop beeping at me, phone. Just trying to pick one more instrument here and it'll all make sense. You guys are gonna go, oh, Milton, Milton. Oh, Milty is what you guys are gonna say in a minute, all right? another pattern here with the bum bum bums okay go to our piano roll oh that didn't work
okay this is what i mean this is and this is the reason why i'm doing this this is the reason why i'm doing this don't get caught up in making your songs as complicated as they possibly can be right away the way to do it is to create layers just the way that i've done here and then space them out over time and you'll see how incredibly complex your song can build into without doing it all at once. If your song just starts and right off the bat, it's... It doesn't, it doesn't give people a chance to appreciate the, um, the, the depth of your music, progressive music, exactly, Late Night Hero. So instead, you want to do something like this. Watch. You want it to be something more like this. Now you see, we've just, we've just taken what was originally like, a, what is this? Uh, a four second, a four second loop, and you have turned it into a almost 20 second loop just by spacing it out a little bit. It's great to, it's great, it's great to create layers. That's good. It's good to create layers, but feel free to space them out. Feel free to space them out. And you can even draw it out longer than that by doing something like, you know, this, like maybe, maybe you have it going solo like this for a little bit, and then it's got another layer, and then back to itself, and then, you know what I mean? So what I mean to say is what you saw that I did there was I came up with a bass line that I liked. I enjoyed this, this bass line, pretty simple. And then what I did was while listening to that bass line, I came up with another layer. Okay, and then while listening to both of those layers, I came up with another layer. And then while listening to those, I came up with another layer. Okay, um, and so if you're looking for an, a, a great way to start making music with your cum, your kick drum, that's the, that's the uh, abbreviation for kick drum is with your cum, your cum or your snum. If you're snumming your cum and you want your different layer, you want your song to sound evolved, progressive, it's got some depth to it, then my advice would be right on top of, another, of one another, just lay on top of one, just, just dogpile. Everyone just lay on top of each other and get real familiar. And then you can spread those clips out you can spread those layers out sprinkle them in however you want that is all that is how i almost always make my music i will get a few sounds that i like and get a little string of music that i like and i'll add another layer that sounds good and i'll go okay and i'll throw it in the bank and i'll come up with another one of the different instrument that sounds good and i'll go okay cool i like that throw that one in the bank and then i'll come up with another one that um I, I like the sound of, and I'll throw that one in the bank. And then I'll just start putting them into the song in, you know, in different spots to make it sound good. And now, chat, it is five minutes past when we're supposed to have a stretch break. So you get your damn darn asses out of, out of your effing chairs, and you have a stretch, okay? And when we come back, I think it might be time for me to actually try to turn this into a song, okay? So... Take a chance to stretch. See if you have any questions. If anyone's fucking around with, um, if someone is, if anyone out there is fucking around with FL Studio and you have any questions for me, feel free to ask them uh, in just a minute when I get back. Okay, chat, get up and stretch. It's good for you. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm trying to take better care of my vision. So I'm trying to do the whole not focusing on a screen once an hour thing so that I'm, I keep my vision. All right. So anyways. Uh, hey, Trevi Sheffyford, thanks for the prime sub. Uh, Haley Double Zero, thank you for the 11 months. Ron Too Nice, hey, thanks for the 11 months, man. Ubu Smile, no, that's not gross. Don't be like that. It's not acceptable. Um, 
Duke Silversax, thanks for the 13 months, man. Uncle Face, thank you for the four months, my friend. Demo be damned, 11 months, even though my day is super stressful and I only get to catch parts of the stream. Every bit that I do catch is wonderful. Love you in this community, Milton. Thank you for doing what you do. Hey, man, Demo be damned. Thanks, buddy. Konguo, thank you for the three months. Fitchlets, thank you for the 19 months of love. Uh, and Ali MB15, thank you for the eight months. Fitchlets, that was nice of you to say, by the way. Uh, Ali MB, hey, wow. Thank you so much for the uh, eight months and thank you for all the kind words. I'm really happy to have you here, Ali. Um, Chris the Impressive gifted a three month resub to Milton's Tiny Peepo Beeper. Donna Lee, dude, thank you for the 20 big boy months. Emmy Nolan, thank you for the 10 month resub. That's me, smile. What the fuck? <laughs> Emmy Nolan, thanks for the 10 months. I'm so, 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 so happy to see you doing a music stream. I can cry. Oh, well, I'm glad that you're, uh, I'm glad that you're going to be enjoying it. Tasty Steve, thanks for the 10 months, dude. It's me, Dadpool. Hey, thanks for the five months. Hey, Milton, wish you a happy holidays, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Aw, Dadpool, thanks, man. Cheeto, 321, thanks for the 39 months. 39 months, isn't that fucking crazy? It's so crazy to think that some of you guys have been here basically for the entire journey that I've that we've been on. Mental pain, thanks for the 22 months. Kara 666, thank you for the 17 months, dude. Steven 34, thanks for the 10 months. Skinny Craig, 11 months of lovies. Um, Jarhead 271, thank you for the eight months, my friend. Chris the Impressive, thanks for gifting that sub to Dog Dude 84. King Kitten DK, 13 months with the snum. Calamity, thank you for the year. Milton Tanya Pike confirmed, get away from me. John007, thank you for the 20 months. Uh, Archelon Prime, thank you for the 15 months. Dante the Ambassador, thank you for the 100 bits. Did you know that Mozart had a disdain for chickens? Anytime he'd ask them who their favorite composer was, all they'd say is bok, bok, bok. Starting to look like a real dog, hey? Oh. Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? Are you? Yeah, you are. Oh, he's such a little, such a little schnitzel. He's like our own Grogu chat. Huh? Oh. That's a little, little chicken butt. Who's a little chicken butt? Who is? Who's a little chicken butt? You are. I'll be right back, Chuck.
Okay. <laughs> I think he's gone mad with power. What the fuck, Neural Johnson? That's you. Okay. Now. <sighs> As a really quick side note, my mom was asking me if, um, My mom was asking me what his personality was like. He is absolutely the most opinionated. He's the most opinionated personality I have ever seen in a dog in my life. Cause she was saying, well, what do you mean? Does he like, does he like snacks? And I said, well, it depends. He, he has a, he has a, a mental issue when it comes to pepperoni. If I'm eating pepperoni, he will insist on eating the pepperoni. But then if I get up and I get like a nice little block of like aged, you know, five year aged cheddar cheese and I put it in front of him, he'll pick it up and spit it out of his mouth and look at me like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? I don't want that. And I'm like, okay, dude. All right. And then like, like if I'm eating like cereal, he'll be right beside me, like licking his lips and like looking at me and whining like, hello, food here please food here please and then um he was doing that at one point so i went up and got a handful of uh frosted flakes and put them on his blanket and he picked up one and like ate it and did the thing where he was like eating a bug like he's like ah! and then he looked at me without reading the rest he's like asshole i don't want that what is that i don't want that i'm like okay jesus man um sometimes he'll make it sound like he really wants to go for a walk so we'll take him for a walk and he'll get uh, 30 feet down the road and he'll just sit down. Like, mm, it's, I didn't realize how cold it was outside and now I don't wanna go anymore. And we have to pick him up and carry him back to the house. And then my favorite part is that um, he, he loves to go in the car. He likes to go, he likes to go in the vehicle and drive around with us. And so if we're going somewhere in the car and he can't come with us for whatever reason, like we're picking up a dresser or something, and there's not enough room in the car, he'll stand at the door like, ooh, ooh, this is so exciting, yay, yay, yay. And then we leave and we close the door and lock it behind us. When we get back from wherever we went, um, I'll go and sit on the couch in the living room and he'll be on his bed right beside me and I'll like want to direct him to something and I'll go, oh, hey, hammer over here. And he will completely ignore me. He will act like I don't exist. I'll be scared. He'll be like right here. I'll be going, hammer, hammer. And he just, he will literally won't even look at me. He just like looks at the other side of the room. Like he's moving his head around. He's looking at stuff, but he just refuses to acknowledge that I'm even talking to him. And he's not deaf because anytime the rest of the day, like if, if he's not upset at me and Aaron, if I just call his name, he'll snap his head like that and he'll run to wherever I am. But if we come back from going on a, on a road trip that he wasn't involved in, he will literally he will literally just not even respond. Exactly, Neural Johnson, I want you to darkness. That's what he thinks. He looks at us and he says, I want you to darkness. Okay. Now, I'm gonna show you guys, I've decided, I'm gonna show you guys one more trick here. Epic me. oh my God, Tom is shredded. I'm gonna show you guys one more trick here and then we're gonna, then I'm gonna make that into a song, okay? Okay. Delete, 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 delete. Delete. Okay, turn this down. I was at a host from my bop bop. Hey, bop bop. Thanks for the host, man. How was your stream today? I'm uh, I'm giving everyone a rundown on the basics of how to use FL Studio, TechSmith. We should make some fucking music sometime, man. Okay, give me one second here, chat. We'll save that. Uh, new. Empty. Um, okay, so. This is, this is the last sort of little thing that I'm gonna teach you guys because I think this is something that some of you guys might end up, might end up utilizing. This thing that I'm showing you that you might end up utilizing is as follows. So it's basically if you wanna make uh, acoustic sounding music, okay? Uh, if you wanna make acoustic sounding music. So we're gonna go here 
what do we have in terms of just what do they come with a stock stock fucking basic bitch version of fl studio what do we have for keys uh, 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 fl keys okay so So you can see that a lot of the different, uh, a lot of the different um, instruments that they have are are what is called velocity sensitive. So I don't really know why um, why they use velocity, but velocity often means volume. Whatever. If you see velocity, it usually means volume. But you can see that where I'm clicking on the on the piano note is determining how loud it is. So let's say you wanted to make your own, you know, acoustic album of something. What's a song, chat? Give give me a song that everyone knows that's not the fucking uwu song or elbow in the beans or boot scoot and boogie, and I'll try to do a really quick piano version of it. Sandstorm. Sweet sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Titanic, god damn it. All right, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Fucking DMCA. Can you imagine I get DMCA for this shit? Okay, but here's here's sort of what I'm getting at. Why I'm shorter there a little shorter there okay so so this is why I'm showing you what I'm showing you I'll explain in one moment Okay, so. Spread them, chat. Fucking spread them. Okay. Like that. Oh, 
All right. So if we go here, <clears throat> here's the last sort of little, little trick I'm showing you guys here, all right? Okay, so that sounds pretty good so far, but the thing that I wanna show you guys is how you can make your music sound a lot more human, okay? Because it sounds pretty good, that sounds pretty decent. The issue is that it sounds very robotic. I think we can all admit that it sounds very robotic. Like the way all the notes start, right? It's, it's, it sounds pretty, uh, it sounds pretty, robotic so there's there's some ways that you can quantize in fl studio but they're kind of fucking confusing and to save you from worrying about all of that shit watch how easy it is to go from having it sound pretty robotic to having it sound pretty humanized, okay? So this is what we have right now. All you do, chat, you hold the Alt key and you just move the notes around a little bit. All you do is you just move the notes around a little bit because what's happening is it's it's making it so that not all of the notes are are starting on the exact same um uh not all the notes are down at starting on the exact same millisecond and just that little that little bit of randomization can make it feel incredibly human it already starts to sound more human one of the other things that I also like to do is add reverb. I find that adding a good reverb uh, can also make it sound um, more human. So once again, uh, I'm operating this area right here. I've got my, my piano, my FL keys are being sent to the number one insert on my mixer. I go over here to the slots and I add in uh, fruity reverb. And then, before long, it starts to sound like this. I'm not sure I like the high cut on that. Now, the other thing that you can also do, chat, that will make it... Um, uh, really human sounding is adjust the volumes so if you look down here if you look in this area here this is the volume of every single note all of these lines here represent the volumes of notes so if you're looking at if you're looking at this the farthest one over here to the left if i shorten or lengthen the note you can see down in this in this section here you can see it's changing the length of that bar so what you can do is just change the velocity or volume, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. You can vary it a little bit to add sort of an increasingly human feel. And then if you really want to add sort of a dramatic flare, you can draw out the start time to be even more exaggerated and that'll make it sound like a really dramatic run okay watch listen to this part okay no i gotta make it even more dramatic you ready more drama chat here we go more drama so that's how real quick you can start creating some pretty uh, acoustic sounding music that also sounds pretty human. I don't like any of the pianos that they have in the stock version of FL Studio. In fact, I use three different external VSTs to give me a better sounding piano instrument. I use Piano Tech um, 
Garretton Personal Orchestra, and Omnisphere. So uh, anyways, so in case anyone was wondering, the big takeaways from this message are that you can uh, change you can change the position. So normally if I just draw in a note and, or, you know, if I'm just drawing in a note like this, you can see that it gives me a pre-prescribed note length, like two bars and it's, and it'll snap. If I try to put it in the middle of a cell here, it just goes to the beginning. If I try to put it at the very end of this one, it just goes to the next one. You know what I mean? So it's trying to lock you to a grid. If you don't want that, if you don't want to be locked to the grid, all you have to do is hold the alt key and you can drag it wherever you want you can be as precise as you want rather than having it snap to grids if you hold the alt key you can drag it around as precisely as you want uh so uh and so if you're wanting your music to sound more human then just vary the if you're if you have a chord so a bunch of notes on top of each other just vary the start time a little bit and um get eugene to be high says neural johnson jesus okay anyways that's the end of that sort of little side bar now chat it's time to turn our song i'm de i'm determined from start to i'm going to make this song a song that at the end of the day is going to be recognizable as a song <laughs> so uh, let's see that's our mission should we choose to accept it now i gotta turn down the lights in here a little bit make my lip my working space a little bit more comfy cozy okay now if you guys have any questions along the way feel free to ask me okay and i'll do my best to answer them if i can Okay, I like the I like the start we've got so far. But I'm going to fuck with something here. You guys are probably going to see a lot of different windows and shit popping up pretty fast. Uh, I'm going to go into full on fucking multi mode here. Uh, so don't be worried if you see something super confusing. Y you you are now equipped with the basics that you need in order to start making music. And the great news is there are really, really, really excellent resources on YouTube. If you type in, you know, YouTube and then look up uh, your whatever the question that you have about FL Studio. There's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of tutorials. That's one of the main ways that I learned how to use FL Studio was from YouTube videos. So YouTube has great, great, great resources in, in how, to, uh, how to use FL Studio. Okay, so I'm going to add a sound goodizer here. Good eyes me, baby. Pretty happy with that. That's the sound. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna. This is interesting because I don't have any of my usual shit, so I'm being forced to just sort of impro improvise as I go. All right. <laughs> Okay, I like that intro. Maybe not. We'll see. I think my problem is that this is too... Um... I'm going to try something here. Reverse it. Let me take it down, Fabian, and reverse it. It's my don't DMCA me, Missy Elliott. Okay. Go here. Put that there. And... We'll see how this sounds. That's actually kind of cool. Risers. That's kind of what we're looking for. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of hate those. Forget it. Get that out of my fucking face. Get that out of my f get that out of my fucking face. Ooh. Oh god, that's shrill. Okay. Oh, that's a little loud. Okay, all right, I've got an idea. Yep. 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 Okay, make unique. Dial it back. How about yay? Try this out. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly the effect I was going for. Okay. And we'll turn this down a little bit. How much does FL Studio cost nowadays? Um, the version that I've got the full version about uh, eight years ago, I bought the full version for me in tech and the full big daddy version is I think $1,400. So it's, uh, it's pretty, um, it can, it can be pretty pricey, but uh, I, it's worth every penny. I've got my money's worth and then some. Okay, so I'm gonna add a filter to this too. 
or an automation clip rather, and I'm gonna have it going the other way. I don't know that I like this. Uh, the sub drop might be a little bit intense. Might be a little bit on the intense side. this part hmm. yeah there we go that's the money that's what big daddy milty likes ooh woo fuck yeah okay um all right Right, and then that's when that part comes in, which is cool. Yes. I think that might be too long of a break in here. I think we might not need those extra. I'm gonna listen to it from the very beginning, but I think we might need to cut out a couple of those sections right there. It sort of drags on in this part a little bit. Trainer Hutch, don't make me hear that sound of saying baby mama. Maybe that's what I'll have to name the song now. It does sound like it's saying baby mama. Baby mama, 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 baby mama. Okay, all right. It's coming along decently. I'm gonna add something to the beginning here. I've decided I'm gonna add a little diddle chat. Incoming diddle chat, prepare to be diddled. Okay. Prepare to be diddled chat. The diddling shall commence. All right. Okay, so here, that's way too, way too intense. Here's another little trick for you. If you guys are still picking up little ticks and tips and tricks. I don't really like how it goes, coo, coo, coo. I don't like the coo. I gotta get rid of the coo. I don't like the coo, you know? I just wanna coo. I don't like the coo. I don't want that. Coo, coo. I don't want the coo. Twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader. Give me a scooter that goes blah, 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 blah. Why? What the fuck did Neural Johnson just say? Of all the shit Neural Johnson has ever, of all the cursed stuff Neural Johnson has ever said, I think twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader, give me a scooter that goes blah, 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 blah. What, is it good to have to pay extra for that? No, what the fuck Neural Johnson? 
<laughs> Give it a rest, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? He's just become another member of chat. He's already passing the Turing test. People that are new to the channel don't even understand that he's uh... a... <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus chat this is so fucked what the fuck what are we doing what the fuck man Twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader, give me a scooter. Oh no, it cut off! <laughs> okay, hold on. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. <laughs> I'm so stupid! Twist my knobs. <laughs> Twist my knobs. <laughs> Twist my knobs. <laughs> Twist my knobs. Oh my god, no, do not. Twist my knobs. No. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. <laughs> Twist my knobs. Okay. Twist my knobs. Okay. Okay. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. <laughs> Twist my knobs. <laughs> what was the what was the twist my knobs pull my slider okay oh my god dude this is this is not acceptable twist my knob okay pull my slider pull my slider pull my pull my slider I wish I could change the note as it goes along. Okay. Damn it. It's not working properly. Hey, quit it, idiot. Okay. Why aren't you doing the thing? You're not doing the thing properly. What does this button do? Oh, I'm gonna unclick that. I don't know what it did. Um, okay. How do I modify? My knobs. Okay. Pull my slider. Accept. Yes. Why is it not saving it? That's weird. Oh. There we go.
<laughs> I've got a plan. I've got a plan for how the how the song is going to go, Chad. It might take a little bit of figuring out to get it perfect, but I'm ready for it. I know exactly how the song is going to go, okay? So just be patient with me for a little bit. You might hear the same part over and over again uh, just as I get this working, but I've decided exactly how the song is going to go. I've decided that he's going to say, give me a scooter that goes, and then he's going to go, blah, 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 and when he goes, blah, 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 that's when the song is going to drop. That's when it's going to drop into like... <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, that's, I think it's gonna, <laughs> I think it's going to be great. So, uh, all right, here we go. Okay, so, and I'm going to adjust the volumes. I'm going to adjust the volumes to make them sit over top of the music better because they're a little bit tucked in behind right now, but I'll bring them out. With my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader. <laughs> I, I'm I'm deciding something. I'm deciding something. Oh. Okay. Pretend I didn't do that. Pretend I didn't do that. Just pretend I didn't do it. Okay. I take it back. Shit, what the fuck is going on? I've never seen this before. I regret doing this. This was a mistake. No, stop. Forget it. Just go back. Just pretend I didn't do anything, okay? Pretend Pull that didn't happen. Thank you. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is what I want. I've decided I don't want that part to be varied. Yank, yank. I don't think it adds fader. anything to the song. Yank my fader. Okay. With my knobs, pull my slider. Yank my fader. Okay. <laughs> Uh, will we be able to download this masterpiece after you're finished? Yeah, if you guys end up wanting to keep the song, yeah, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys keep the song. And what's the very, what was the very last line of that? Uh, give me a scooter that goes blah, 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 blah. <laughs> give me, okay. All right. Oh my God. It's so fucking dumb. It's so it's dumb. Really it's dumb. so fucking dumb. <laughs> Shit. Twist my knob. What the fuck? Hello? Twist my knobs. Okay. Yeah, scooter that goes. Give, give me a scoot, give me a scooter that goes. Okay. Twist. No. Give me a... Give me a scooter that goes. Okay. Yep. Twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader, give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> it sort of starts slow there. Give me a, give me a scooter that goes. Okay, so now, ah. <sighs> What I have to do is figure out how to like, I want to alter the pitch as it's going along, but I don't know how to do that. That's a bit beyond my own. Um, it's a bit beyond my own abilities in FL Studio, as it were. Hmm. Thanks for the glockenspiel. There's no glockenspiel in there right now. Okay, so, oh, this might actually work perfectly. Let's see. Twist my knobs. For that. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. Okay, relax, Merrill Johnson. Okay, what if I go like this? This. Why is that Twist not? Twist my knobs. Get... Aha! Okay. Okay. So, then, no, no, okay. Stop. Uh, delete. Uh, okay. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. New tone. Um, 
All right. So we want to first go. Swift my. Swift my. Twist my knobs. <laughs> All right, that sounds pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, now, I think I go like this. Yes. Excellent. Let's try that. Twist my knobs. Pull my slider. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Twist my knobs. So first what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and add. Actually, never mind. I'll do that afterwards. Okay. And we'll go new tone. Pull my slider. Okay. Pull my slider. Slider. Pull my slider. Yep. Okay, that's good. I like that too. Twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader. Yank my fader. <laughs> Twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader. Give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> lyrics of this song dude all right so this one doesn't need to be there anymore so we're gonna move this one like here in fact we might just get rid of it because we're not gonna really need it for now well maybe i'll put it over here somewhere it can fuck off for a while it's fucking up our groove Neural <laughs> johnson's a lyrical genius never gonna give him one more time Neural johnson you're coming dangerously close to a dmca there bro Okay, this this part's gonna be a little tricky to execute, but I'm gonna give it my best fucking shot. Give me a scooter that goes. that goes. Scooter that goes. All right, I think that's what I want. Give me a. And we'll move it back a half step. Yeah, that's gonna be it, man. And then we're gonna drop into the song, dude. <laughs> Give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can do one more here. Wait, hold on. What is this yeah, one? Oh, we haven't really adjusted. Have we not adjusted that one yet? Yeah, I'm good with that. <clears throat> okay. Um, now I'm gonna see if I can make him go. Blah, 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 blah. Goodbye, sober day. Give me. Okay. <laughs> bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> it sounds so stupid. <laughs> it sounds so fucking dumb. Bleh, 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 bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Too stupid. Oh my god. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> I think just the one bleh, bleh, bleh is good. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> bleh. Bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. 
Bled, 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 bled. Wonder if I just go like this. Will he just say BLBL? BLBLBL. Yeah, shut up, shut up, Nero. Fuck, fuck off. Bled, 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 bled. Bled, 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 bled. Okay. Oh, fuck, that's so dumb. Whoops. Okay. Um, blab, 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 blab. Blab, 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 blab. Whiz. Blab, 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 blab. Oh, dude, chat. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. It's going to be so fucking good. Holy shit. Oh, dude, it's going to sound so good. Just wait. Okay, so before I even play it with the rest of this shit, I want to do a couple. I'm just going to tweak a couple of things here, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm processing so many thoughts at once. There's so many different things that I want to do. Okay, so we haven't put anything to insert seven yet, have we? I don't think so. Nope, just goes up to six. So we're going to send this one to seven. And we're going to add in like that. And we're going to go maybe that. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta just listen to this. Web, 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 web. It's a little bit. Web, 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 web. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking good, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God. All right, let's hear what we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh that is fucking awesome <laughs> oh my god with my dog pull my slider yank my favor give me a scooter that goes <laughs> oh, oh wow that's what has that been another hour already oh shit man okay that is fucking that is fantastic we'll vary how much because i don't know if i want to do it like this or if i want to do it like this <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I, I'm not sure I haven't decided yet okay chat if you guys have been sitting for the last hour get up and have a little stretchy poo okay I'm gonna do the same thing and then we'll uh we'll sit back down and continue with the kick W's okay you guys get up there Milton stretch okay I want to see some Milton stretchers okay chat ah! I'll be right back all right oh
Okay, I have returned. Who's decoloning in here? What's going on? Chat. Okay. It's not a Milton Chair stream, okay? I'm back. All right. What happened? Why are y'all poofing? Why are you disappearing? Are you smoking in here? Is that why? Bruh, dude. <sighs> okay. Uh, so Sack Solarium says, Nubbies on the toilet? Uh, do I even want to ask what the fuck you are at? What does that question mean? What does that mean? Anyways, let's see what we have so far. <laughs> That's the name of the song is Nubbies on the Toilet. Okay, so we're not going to name it that. I don't know that I like the way that this starts. I feel like the timing is weird. I feel like um, I feel like we're going to need to shift everything over a little bit because it's sort of the song starts and then the, the voice kicks in right away. So we might have to adjust some of that a little bit. Okay, yeah, we're going to do it. This is perfect as like a second refrain. I don't even know if I use that fucking terminology properly. But fuck it. But fuck it. But fuck it. But fuck it, chat. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead. Don't be gross. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. We're going to go ahead and move all of this over. We're going to move it over to like here. Okay. And then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go like that. Except for this first part to build the drama, it's just going to be normal like that. Hmm. I've been craving it for free, but it's usually hidden by default. What are you talking about, Neryl Johnson? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna see. I, I gotta have something here because it's like I'm thinking of just having it say like hello or something like we need some we need some something here something other than just a musical hit I wonder if maybe Hmm, I'm feeling like <sighs> nubbies on the toilet. We are not adding nubbies on the toilet. <laughs> what is the last thing that Neural Johnson said? We'll add that. Uh, the last thing he said was put some drip on it and call it a day, Kiki. <laughs> put some drip on it. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's see if we can make something like that. Bleb, 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 bleb. Bleb, 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 bleb. We'll see. We'll, we'll give it a try. And if we don't like it, then we'll just go with what we have. It's not, it's not bad as it is. Um, okay. Put some drip on it. Put some drip on it. We're going to give that a try. 
and see how it sounds. Might sound might sound like shit. I've actually got a plan. I've got a plan. I got some plans. Okay. Uh, not feeling it? Yeah, I'm not feeling it either. What do you think about just having another refrain of... Um, of him saying twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. Twist my knobs. Pull my slider. Yeah. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea, Metallus. That's actually not a bad idea at all. Twist. Twist. <laughs> I kind of like that. Hold on, chat. Twist. I kind of like that. Hold on. Twist. Twist. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a plan. You ready for it, chat? You ready for this shit? Get ready for it, because here it comes. I'm thinking maybe just the two. <laughs> now, do we want do we want four or two? Wait, are you saying like this? Whoops. <laughs> what do you think? So our options are like, there's one, two, three, four. Do we want one and three? Or do we want one, two, three? Do we want two, three, four? Do we want three, four? One, two, three. Like that. Three twists and a yank. <laughs> one and three. You like one and three? Now I'm trying to decide. Do we want what sounds better? One, two, three, or one, three, and then it. I'm thinking, oh, it's tough, man. Both sound good. Both sound good. It's hard. <laughs> One, two, three is better. It has more emotion to it. I've got it, chat. Hold on. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this fucking 200 IQ solution, chat? Ooh. There, see? We'll drop that that middle note down one. Web, 
That's cool, man. It's already sounding good. And don't worry. Yeah, the, the, the voice is quiet. I'm going to find a way to pump them up. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Okay, so we're going to go. So we've got seven is our last used. So here we'll go with eight. Here we'll go with eight. Here is eight. Here is eight. Oops. Oops. Here, we'll go with eight. And here, we'll go to eight. And here, we'll go to eight. And then here, we'll add something like, what if we added a sound goodizer? That often makes the sound considerably different. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> that already sounds a lot better. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like it. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. Oh, what if it were twist, pull, yank? Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Oh, that's actually a fucking cool idea, man. Okay, Metallus coming in with the fucking 200 IQ ideas here. Let's see. This might not actually work. I might have to do each one individually, but we'll see. Um, we'll give it a whirl at the very least. Okay, so take you suckers, put you over there. Take you, suckers, and put you right there. Twist, pull, yank. Twist my knobs. Pull my slider. Yank my shader. Give me a scooter. Twist, pull. I think it's got to be the same notes as what we had before, so. Pull my slider. Pull. Pull. Pull my. Okay, and then like that. Okay. Yank my shader. Pull my. What the fuck? Hey. Hey. Yank. Yank my. Uh... Yank. 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 Okay, so if I go like that. Yes. Yank. <laughs> Thanks, Neural Johnson. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's try that. Twist, pull, yank. Twist my knobs. Pull my slider. Yank my twist, pull, yank. Twist, pull, yank. Twist, twist, pull, yank. Twist my knobs. Twist, mm. pull, yank. Twist, my knob. I like the twist better, yeah. That was a good idea. We gave it a shot, but I like the twist better. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, my knobs. Pull, my slider. Yank, my face. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, my knobs. I'm going to try something, chat. Let me know what you guys think, okay? 
I'm gonna give something a, a go here. My knobs. Twist my uh, my knob. Twist my knobs. What do you guys think between these two? Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Ah, oh, and I gotta send this one to the correct channel. Just eight. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider, yank my shader. Give me a scooter that goes. So this is the difference. Twist, this is the new version. Whoops. Twist my knobs. This is the old version. Twist my knobs. So I'm, I've just dropped that first note, but I think it, it seems to flow better in my opinion. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider, yank my shader. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my twist, twist my knobs. New one better? Okay. Twist my knobs. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. No, they shouldn't be the streamer, Neural Johnson. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my Twist my knobs. I wonder if I should have them all sounding sort of similar. Like, I wonder Pearl if here Mike I should Slider. go. I wonder. Pearl. Pearl. I wonder if it would sound better if it's all sort of uniform up until the end. Let's try something like this. See if it flows better. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider. Um. Okay, so here we go. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider, yank my shader. Give me a scooter that goes. No, no, okay. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider, yank my shader. I think this one needs a this one needs a slight change. This one needs something yeah. more like. Yank my. Yank. Yank my fader. Let's try that. Okay. And send this one to eight. Put that one there. Try this. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider, yank my fader. Give me a scooter that goes. That's pretty good. I like that. I'm gonna stick with that. I actually like that one. Yank my fader. Yep, done. Okay, so the vocals are coming through a little bit more. Excelente. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> Okay, I actually like that. The bleb 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 bit is amazing. I know, right? Isn't it isn't it great? <laughs> I kind of want to, I kind of want to, I've got an idea for where the song is going to go. Like another direction that I want to take, but this is good so far. 
Okay, I'm gonna add another thing here. I've decided I'm gonna add another thing. Oh, I'm gonna probably saving is a good idea, huh? Haven't saved in like two hours playing fucking high stakes poker here. Okay. We're gonna go with which one is likely to have the sort of instrument that I am looking for. I'm going to say Okay. I'm going to try something here. I'll see if I like it or not. Okay, piano. super fucked up what did i do wrong what what oh i see math is hard math is hard there we go this is better Send this one to nine. Nine, nine, nine. Let's see. Sound goodizer. I know I don't want to confuse the first lyrics with with music, so I think I'll leave that part out, but I'll keep this part in maybe. here oh, that's... Web, 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 web
<laughs> that actually lines up pretty nicely, just like that. This part lines up well. Goes. Chat is so much for baby mama nodders. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking I like that sound. I don't know that I'm sold on the instrument though. Go. Let me see here. <laughs> I kind of like the beep boop 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 boop. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds so funny. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never laughed so much just listening to music, thanks. Dude, it's so funny, man. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh I'm I'm really enjoying this. But as you guys can see, as a quick side note, all of this, everything that you have seen today is doable with just the 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 demo version of FL Studio. Because I know that I closed the the save file and reopened it, but if I just hadn't closed the save file, everything that you have seen here is doable with the demo version of FL Studio. And when you're done, you can just save it and export it as an MP3 and fucking away you go. That doesn't sound like Billy Jean. Th thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Detective. Detective Neural Johnson is on the case. <laughs> 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 Are you guys ready for this? Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of work here, but you're gonna see it's gonna pay off, okay? Okay. Just be patient with me here. So this is an interesting situation where I'm going by color. 
So some of you may know that I have a condition, a neurological, a neurological condition called color grapheme synesthesia. And I also have, um, I forget the name, color phonic uh, synesthesia. Um, and uh, basically uh, what that means is that when I hear music, I experience it as color. So when I'm trying to set up notes like this, I'm mostly going by the color experience that arises in my head when I arrange notes in a certain order, which is pretty weird. Okay, so, whoops. Piano needs to work on the scale a bit too far in my opinion. What the fuck are you even saying? What are you even saying? What does that even mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean, Neural Johnson? Okay, I'm I'm almost ready. This this part here is going to be done soon. I couldn't I couldn't let you guys not have a not have a solo in here, you know? Cancel that. Nah, cancel that. Nah, cancel that. Damn it. Okay. Uh, do you actually, do you have any like trained experience with music, like playing music in school or lessons or anything? Is it all synesthesia? Unfortunately for me is that I can't, I don't know any music, th uh, theory because I can't learn it. 
Weirdly enough, I had a couple of What just happened? Sorry, give me a second here. What the fuck? Hello? I pressed the button and everything vanished. The fuck was that? Okay, anyways. Be careful with the buttons you press when you're working on this. Um, I had a couple of piano teachers try to teach me how to play piano and they couldn't do it because uh save that shit yeah right jesus okay saved um they couldn't do it because they could tell that i would be they'd be trying to they they'd give me some sheet music and i was fucking you know eight years old and i say could you just play it for me one time and um they'd play the song and then I'd sit down at the piano and I would just play the song that they played, but I wouldn't be looking at the sheet music at all. And uh, they'd be like, you're not even reading music. You're just playing what you heard. And I'd be like, no, I'm not. I'm reading the music. Look, it's a, it's a, it's a Q note. And then there's a P note over there. And I played them on the keyboard. <laughs> so uh anyways two two different music teachers basically eventually just said well we can't teach him he's not even learning how to read music he just listens to the song that we play and then he plays it after us he's not learning anything so um i can't and so the the reason that i can't read sheet music is because my color grapheme synesthesia means that i have an involuntary association with colors with names dates locations geometric shapes musical notes numbers letters uh symbols all of them have an association with a color with me so if i'm looking at a sheet of paper and i see a g note maybe the g note is green but the sound that the g note makes is blue i interpret it as blue and so i can't do it because i'm tr i'm listening to one color but i'm playing a different color and it fucks up and i just can't do it my brain just doesn't work that way so unfortunately i'm unteachable I'm unteachable, Chad. <laughs> I can't be taught. <laughs> okay. White people said, <laughs> I can't be taught. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. I've I've got it working on here. You ready for the key change chat? No. Nine. Turn this way down here. I'll we'll try something like.
It's quiet right now, but don't worry, I'll turn it up. Aha. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, it's starting to sound better. <laughs> Neat. All right, I like that. Um, because what I want to do is I, I occasionally I like to to. I'll show, I'll show you sort of how I like to have this come into effect, but I'm just trying to dial in the sound. It's not quite what I want it to be. So just give me a minute here to uh, toy around with it for a minute. I think this note's a little loud. That's better. So what I like to do is something like this. Yeah, that's actually that's actually quite a bit better. Okay, so we go here, and sort of the trick that I showed you before. What I'm gonna do here is from here to here. I want the I want it to go from being the beepy boopy, uh, the beepy boopy, to sounding like an electric guitar. So. I create an automation clip there, and I do this. Then, ipso facto, Bob's your uncle, it should sound like this. Let's go back a little bit to here. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. Blip, 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 blip. Okay, so it didn't work. So it didn't work at all. <laughs> it didn't do the thing at all that I wanted it to. So, um, perfect. Excellent. Didn't do a goddamn thing. Let's try this again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You guys are worrying about it. I don't know why. Okay, let's try this again. Web, 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 web. Okay, that's cool. It's still a little, it's still a little shrill, so I might need to dial this one back a little bit because that's a that's a high fucking note, bro. What do you guys think? Keep it high B or low B? What do you think? Oh, some people are some people are kind of split on that one. What if I try something like that? It's like Oh, 
The low makes it have a nice contrast. No, I don't like that one, but. All right, I'm gonna try, hmm. I just wish it wasn't so loud. That's better. That's less, that's less shrill. Okay. Now, can I? No. Fuck's sake. Okay. I might want to dial the volumes down just a little bit. They're a little bit loud. Is that an official whitey out there causing shit? Okay, I'm pretty happy with that actually. And we'll copy those over. And I'd say right now we're probably about 70% of the way through the song. We might end up actually finishing it before the end of stream, wouldn't you know? Neato, burrito, giraffe, and a speedo. Okay. 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 Um, hey, PC Tech, thanks for the 300 bits, man. The music was especially pog, knowing how large your hands are. It must be difficult playing the keys. Ah, oh, thanks, PC Tech. Jutali, thanks for the 11 months. Pepsi Dash, 100 bits. Thanks for the 100 bitties, man. Uh, Val Sounds, thank you for the four months. Mish665, two months. Uh, Wajada, thank you for the three months. Lovely made in 20 months. Toxic Seahorse, thanks for the two. Gremlin Hunter, thank you for the eight months, my friend. Hey, I, I'm sorry that you had such a shitty week, and I hope that the next week is better for you, Gremlin. Uh, Rocky Road, thanks for the two months. Dr. Scory, thank you for the seven months of love. Jublet, thanks for the 15 months, man. Um, Milton looks like Oliver Queen. Changed my mind. Who the fuck is Oliver Queen? Chat, who is that? Jublet, thanks for the 15 months, man. I appreciate you. You know, I didn't expect my renewal that I'd hear twist my knob about 500 times and love it. <laughs> um kate monster thanks for the 15 months we've been together longer than my girlfriend and i here's to another 15 months yahoo bravier thanks for the uh nine months catman industries thank you for the four months yank my resub i will and Balan baloney joe thanks for the 17 months man can't help but think this is the new dj remix of titanic <sighs>
Okay. All right. Slide. Step into your room. Uh, as a quick side note, um, chat, I want to make this real clear. Uh, if any of you have been watching this and you want to give music making a try, do it. Do it. You should give it a shot. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Give it a shot. Fuck around with it. See, see what you think. Um, one of, uh, one of, I, I told this story before, but, uh, I've been messing with, uh, FL studio for about 10 years and uh about 10 years ago is that right no about nine years ago I was uh I was in university and I was fucking around with some music in my room and one of uh I was a uh resident life leader so I was like someone who's in charge of babysitting first years and um this guy comes up to my room a first year student and he was like hey uh what uh what are you what are you doing and i was like oh, i'm just fucking around with making some music and he was like oh what programs do you use and i sort of just gave him some of the very basics on what i was doing anyways last year he was flown to la by wiz khalifa to make music with wiz khalifa so uh he went Pew! he went way he fucking skyrocketed to the top and is making music with some of like the best known producers in mainstream and uh, he's loving it and he's incredible. He's incredibly talented. So you'll never know unless you give it a shot. You'll never know unless you, uh, unless you give it a shot and try. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's making music with Wiz Khalifa and you're making dick jokes in GTA. Yeah, exactly. Uh, is this FL Studio? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure it's FL Studio because I want... Wow, dude. Fucking, you're a toxic fuck. Now I'm ignoring you and going back to the music because you were rude. Okay. I'm going to go like this and like that. Whoops. Okay. Okay, it's almost good, but not quite. Because this is the part that's supposed to be like that. Got it. Like that. Oops. Okay. Oh, ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop. Okay. Thanks, phone. Now, well, we're in the final hour chat. How Monka DMCA is recreating movie scores? Uh, fuck, Whitey, who knows, man? God, dude, I, normally I would say you're probably fine, but now, I don't know anymore, man. And then we go back to the regular beat, like this. <laughs> Okay, so then we transition out of intense, intense, um, 
heavy metal sounds back down to regular, regular, like such. And then we go back over here and we take these two and we put them like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we get our bleb 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 bleb. <laughs> and that's the end of the song. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got so far. Mother fucking mother fucking mother fuck. Oh, oh, <sighs> no, you are not supposed to be the way you are. Thanks, mom. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. We have to fuck you, says Neural Johnson. What? Okay, and these I want to shift over a little bit. And we're actually, you know, we're actually getting reasonably close to uh, to putting the finishing touches on this bad boy. I'm going to add a few more fills, a few more little things. What's this song going to be called? Well, initially we were going to call it Baby Mama because that's what it sounds like the bass line is saying. Baby Mama, Baby Mama, Baby Mama, Baby Mama, Baby Mama, Baby Mama. But, uh, but now I feel like we need to call it Twist My Knobs. Or bleb bleb bleb. Twist, 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 twist my knobs. Pull my slider, yank my shader. Give me a scooter that goes. Bleb 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 bleb. Bleb 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 bleb. Do you guys want twist my knobs? <laughs> twist my knobs is powerful. Okay. Well, chat, it has been another hour and five minutes. You know what time it is, Twitch chat. It is time to have a little stretchy poo, okay? Have yourselves a little stretch, and I'll be right back, okay? Your boy, Milty, has got an upset tum-tum and needs to go shoot a slippery stink pickle through a hoop, okay? I'll be right back. Chat, behave yourselves.
All better, chat. All better. Okay, now. I want to get rid of these because I don't think that they belong there. I don't think that that... I don't think they make sense there. Did you wash your hands? Wait, you guys wash your hands? <laughs> okay, so we're going to add a couple more instruments. First, we're going to save. Uh, I sent my Star Wars recreate in Cubase in Discord, but up to you when you want to listen to it, if ever. Um, I will, uh, official Whitey, I will wait until I'm employed by the government to um, interrogate uh, extraterrestrials, and then I will use your version of the song to uh, coerce uncooperative... Uh, Members of the interrogation. <laughs> I'll use it to torture the information out of them, okay? How's that sound? Does that sound good? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Whitey is a far is a far more talented musician than me. In case anyone couldn't interpret that sarcasm. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. That's right, Neural Johnson. <laughs> See, he's enjoying it. God, why can't you be more like Neural Johnson, white, official whitey? I like that. That's cool. Okay. Deadmau still streamed. It's crazy that he listens to some of my music on stream. I'll never, I'll never get over the fact that Deadmau5 literally listened to uh, Deadmau5 literally listened to my fucking song on stream. He listened to something that I made. Did he really? Yeah, he did. And it was interesting because I sent it to him and I was like, "Oh, hey, what do you think of this, Deadmau5?" Uh, just just a heads up uh, i can't master for shit so mastering is something that i am not i haven't shown you guys today and i'm not going to show you guys for a while it is an, a super advanced technique that i don't even really know how to do basically think of it this way imagine you wanted to have a cello and a bass guitar and a synth bass and some low wubs and all the rest you can't have all of those in a song at the same time because they're competing for the same band of audible frequency. And so what happens is as soon as you have too many instruments competing for the same 
frequencies, they just smother each other out. And then it just sounds like a mess. It just doesn't sound like anything. You're not able to piece apart the different instruments. Mastering is this incredibly uh, intricate process of like adjusting volumes and adjusting where how certain uh, frequencies being louder than others and all the rest. And um, anyways, it's hard to do. It's hard to balance it so that you can hear each of the instruments at each of the times. So I sent him this song and I was like, uh, oh, just a heads up. I, I don't I don't think I can master really well. But anyways, here's the song. So he listened to it for about 15 seconds and then said, man, you really can't master for shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was his primary piece of feedback. He was like, yep, you were absolutely right. You definitely can't master anything. <laughs> but then he followed it up by saying, um, oh, I, I sent him like a, uh, a, a retro synth wave song that I had made. And he was like, but uh, I really like the song. And he was like, man, if I could choose between being able to make music like this or being able to master properly, I would choose to be able to make music like this. So I was... I was very flattered, even though he said you suck at uh, <laughs> you suck at mastering. I, I was still pleasantly surprised. Where's my music? If you type exclamation SoundCloud into chat, um, it should pop up. That feels like it's cleaning the inside of my ears. Neat. I don't want to fuck around with it too, too much. I'm not going to waste too much time doing this, but... Nah, I want to keep it soft. This is like a, ooh. What if it can be done? What if what can be done, Meryl Johnson? Ah, oh, I see, oh, I see. So then I could do like this. I might just keep it as the stock one. Why not? Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Fucking YOLO. Piano roll. Get over here. Get over here. 112, 13, 14, 15. Oh, for Pete's puss. For Pete's puss. Uh huh. Okay. So. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader. I like that. I'm gonna try add, I'm gonna try um, complicating it a little bit more by adding in a little something like this. So first we're gonna send you off to insert 10, then we're gonna add in a phaser. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader, give me a scooter that goes. Web, 
Mastering is such an intricate thing when you think you finally got it and you listen to someone with professional mastering and then you just want to delete your whole computer. I believe that. I'm gonna continue to flesh out a little bit of the, a uh, little bit of this part here. Uh, the 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 solo needs some support, so we're gonna support that a little bit, and then we're gonna add a few more little details here and there. And basically, we're gonna be ready to put this fucking put a bow on this bad boy, and off it goes. I wonder how it would sound if I put this here, like this, and went like this. Give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> I wonder if I should have more web, 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 webs in there. Let's see how it sounds. Let's see what you guys think. Uh, what is Neural Johnson saying? The fuck is Neural Johnson saying now? What are you guys quoting Neural Johnson? Where is he? Where is the fucking idiot? I put bacon on my balls every hour. Okay. Give me a scooter that goes. Oh, I've got it. I've got it, chat. Oh, I've got it. Hold on now. I think this might be a nice addition, and I think I have a good idea. I've been thinking about thinking, and I'm thinking I might even have an idea, chat, okay? Just hold on, just wait. Everyone just relax, okay? Bleh, bleh, bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. Okay. <laughs> All right, check it out. Give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta trim off that first little bit there. <laughs> but other than that, I think it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> Make that solo longer. Yeah, I want to, but um <laughs> I can make it a little longer. I can make it a little longer. I'll make it a little. You want me to make it longer for you, chat? I'll make it longer for you, chat, ooh, woo. Want me to make it a little longer for you, chat, ooh, woo? I'll make it for you a little, little longer for you, chat, ooh, woo. All right. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, too fucking bad now. Okay. I'm gonna save. Move 
this part over here. Oops. Like that. Okay. Um, okay, I'm actually going to move this over a little more because it's starting to confuse me. So you can just wait over here until you're summoned, okay? And here, we're going to add that to there. <laughs> Okay. Whoops. I'm going to try something risky here, chat. <laughs> I kind of like that. That's actually kind of cool. I like how it's it's not the it's not the note that you'd think it would be, you know? Just deciding how I want it to fit in there. Just give me a minute to fuck around with this chat. Oh, weird. Oh, that's the damn it, shit. Fucking piss ass. Fart. Frick fudge. Damn. Shoot ass farts, chat. Oh, fuck. I fucked up the timing because I forgot where I'd put the own, my own damn darn damn darn. Damn darn damn, chat. What is going on there? Something's getting fucked up in there. Notes are not playing where they should be playing. Ah, uh aha. -huh. I see. <clears throat> okay, so then we might need to add just a little more to the solo so that we can finish with that. <laughs> Which ends at the end of the next. Okay, gotcha. So we need to shift over our <laughs> to be there. Gotcha. Okay. Which means we also need to extend this out to there and then shift these like that shift these like that and do one of those
That sounds kind of cool. Oh, although some of these notes need to be changed, I think, because uh, they are they were with the different key. So we're gonna have to change some of these. That's okay. But other than that, it's uh, it's coming along. Okay. And then we go like that. And we do this. Neat. Oh, Chad, it's coming along. Okay, let's let's uh get it a little bit more fleshed out and then we're basically good to go. Give me a scooter that goes. Now, should we have should we have it say I don't know if I like him saying give me a scooter that goes there. I don't think he needs to say that again. I almost feel like saying something like this and then uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh okay so if we go here and we go here and we go here and we go here and we go like that actually you know what i've decided i don't want to, i don't want to do that i want to do <laughs> okay watch i'll show you what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you another trick tricks with milty 101 twist, twist, twist. okay so i want i don't want that to just be twist 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 all over again so instead what you do is you do a little something like this chat you go here you go fruity filter nope that's the wrong one i think it's not here because they removed it for whatever stupid fucking reason did they remove it fruity free filter i just want the fruity free filter bro i just want the fruity free okay so then we got to go here add add uh more plugins manage plugins uh fruity free filter aha favorite it excellent close replace with fruity free filter excellent much better now okay so you go something like this highlight this area here go back to our fruity free filter take the frequency create an automation clip bring it up here and do this. Now listen. That's a bit better. Okay. Let me see if I can do something here. Okay, because that last twist, the second to last one is pretty, pretty intense. That's better. Nope. Undo. Okay, I can't do that. There we go. That's good. 
Okay, so I'm good with that transition there. I'm wondering if I can, it's a little bit loud and I never really understand why the fruity filter does that. Ah, maybe if I put it to zero gain. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. What if I even turn the game down a little bit? Good enough. Good enough. But are these ones all fucked up now? No. Yes, they are. Okay. So then we will go like this. And we can't drag it over anymore. God damn it. All right. Well, that's annoying. Uh, so I'm going to go like this and put that here, make it unique. And I'm going to like that and delete and delete and okay. Then go like that. Later. Give me a scooter that goes. Okay, I gotta make one quick adjustment here, chat, because I'm still I'm still not satisfied with the volume there, so I'm gonna have to go. There, that's good. That's better. Okay, we're gonna add a few more background elements and then we're pretty much ready to put a fucking bow on this bad boy. I'm still not satisfied with this drop though. So we're gonna have to change our intro sequence a little bit. Uh, okay, packs, SFX. Try reversing that. Reverse. Whoops. Turn that motherfucker way down. <laughs> okay. And move this bad boy like that. Twist, 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 twist. Excellent. Aki, see you later, dude. My slider. Yeah, my fader. Give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> Web, 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 web
See if I want this to end a little bit differently. Oh, I have an idea. What about that it sort of peters off peter little peter my little peter peters off you know what i mean twist my knobs pull my slider yank my finger give me a scooter the see neural johnson approves chat neural johnson approves now we're just gonna add a few more elements in there and Is there a, are there mods out there? Could I get a mod to screenshot that comment from Neural Johnson so that I can uh, keep it for posterity's sake to explain the genesis of this song? Okay, so I'm uh, I'm pretty satisfied. It's just the beginning is the part that I'm really struggling with. Tricky. It's tricky to find an intro that I like. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. It needs a betch moan in it. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I think I have an idea actually, chat. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna try something. I have a good idea of how I wanna sort of figure at the beginning of it, and then we're gonna fucking fire away. This reminds me of a scooter that goes blah, blah, blah. 
um are all these default effects like did you download anything external negative this is all what comes with just the stock version of fl studio i haven't downloaded or added anything additional to it um give me a scooter that goes full night full night like uh what hello hello no that's not that's not what i wanted you to do i want you to let me i want you to let me no i want you to let me ah oh, there we go go okay go 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 excellent it's exactly what i wanted it to be Go. Excellent. And then I was thinking of having the uh go here. Uh-huh. I actually don't know if I know how to do this properly. Actually, I'm sure I do. I'm just gonna go like this. Boop. 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 Do 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 do. Okay, let's try this. And you, my friend, will get sent to number eight. Okay. Oh, what the? God damn it! 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 Every time! The fuck up my filter! Shit! Go. <laughs> Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my fader, give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> Pretty fucking solid, man. I'm pretty happy with it. We've got about 13 minutes left, and uh, I think we're I think we're approaching uh, completion, chat. I think we're ready to climax. Well done, chat. We, I couldn't have done this without you. You guys have helped me put this this song together. We're gonna add a couple more little elements here and there, but we are approaching com we are approaching completion. okay i want to make this that first drop i want it to have a little bit more oomph i like that the the shot sound effect but i want something a little bit more uh. oh that might be good let's see let's turn this down a little bit oh. 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 Oh yeah, there we go. That's got the sort of the sort of slap that I want. Go. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna show you one more quick trick just to flesh it out, more flesh, Chad. I want some more flesh. Give me more flesh. Okay. Well, how many um how many patterns do we have? 16, 17. Okay. Okay, almost good. Yeah. Send this to number 11. We don't have anything in 11 yet. We don't. Excellent. Sound goodizer. Where'd you go? Where's my goodizer? There it is. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. I might might do away with that, but we'll see. Go. Nah, it makes it too busy, I think. Might want to change the instrument. <laughs> Go. That's not bad. It's a little, little on the shrill side, I would say. Probably doesn't need to be quite so loud. What if I extended it a one bar? Would that give me a nice little bam? I'm gonna just check out a couple more, see if I want to actually add that. Oh, Jesus. Some of them are kind of awful, as you can hear. Oh, let's see how that sounds. That actually might be kind of fucking cool. Twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> I've actually got a perfect idea, Chad. Are you ready for this? Are you, are you guys, are you all ready for this, Chad? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna go 30% left on that. And then we're gonna go down here. And, oh, wait, what, what? No, hold on, what? Wait, what? The fuck? Where? Okay, good, that's good. Number 10 can go 30% to the right. Twist, yeah, that's good, twist, I like that. Twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. <laughs> Now I wonder if I was to take these, copy them, put them over. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
somewhere like here and then space them out a bit. Would that sound good or would that sound too muddy? We'll find out. You never know until you try, chat. You never make mistakes. You just have happy little, happy little accidents. Web, 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 web. Okay, I think I like that more. Okay, so here I think I definitely want another powerful drop. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and take both of these and bring them over here because that drop happens too, uh, too softly and I want it to slap. I want it to smack the smack it. The cinnamon toast, Ken, how are ya? That's it, chat. That's it. That's the fucking song. Let's listen to it. We'll put on a visualizer and we'll listen to it once through, but this song is officially finished, chat. We have started and finished a song in one sitting using nothing more than the tools that you have uh, with the demo version of FL Studio. So if you're interested in making any of your own music for any reason, you can do it with FL Studio. Okay, so we're going to save that motherfucker. Go here, go to master, add a visualizer, which you guys can't see. So never mind. Pretend I didn't fucking say anything, chat. All right. Just forget I said anything. Oh, it was there for a second. Hey. 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 Uh oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna go with uh, <sighs> feedback. We're back. Okay, that didn't do anything. Where's the uh? What is it called? Physics columns. Doesn't really appear to be doing much. Okay, forget it. Forget for, forget that. Just watch. Just look at this. Just look at the screen chat. Okay, just look at the screen and enjoy. Here we go. Um, this is. I think this is. This is. What, what should we call it, chat? Should we call it "Twist My Knobs" or should we call it "Bleb Bleb Bleb"? What do you guys think? Or should we call it just "Neural Johnson"? What do you think we should name it? Baby Mama, Bleb Bleb Bleb. <laughs> Twist my bleb. Should we just call it twist? Neural bleb. People are I see people voting for bleb bleb bleb. So we're gonna we're gonna name it bleb bleb bleb. I like bleb bleb bleb. Okay, here we go. Go. Wiz, 
twist, 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 twist my knobs, pull my slider, yank my shader, give me a scooter that goes. Web, 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 web. Web, 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 web. Web, 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 web. Web, 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 web. web. There you have a chat. Blab, 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 starring your boy, Neural Johnson. Please don't DMCA me. Um, and wouldn't you know that it's perfectly on time, chat, for us to say our farewells. I know that we've been having a nice day. We had a lot of fun. We made a song. But unfortunately, chat, it is that time of day where we have to say our farewells for now. Uh, I wanna give a quick shout out to NordVPN. Thank you so much for sponsoring the month of November. You can head to nordvpn.com slash miltonpike1 and use the promo code miltonpike1 to save 68% on a two year plan, get four months for free. It's risk-free with a 30 day money back guarantee chat. Uh, may not be back tonight for an evening stream because i'm getting the rest of my life situated for the release of cyberpunk 2077 we are going to be playing the fucking tits off of that game i was thinking tomorrow maybe we'd, we'd play a little gta role play in the afternoon um so uh it's gonna be a week full of content dude a week full of content to head chat we're gonna have a great time i'm super excited some big thick beefy long boy streams and uh you know we're gonna be, we're gonna have some role play, maybe some collab streams with Jabu Woo Woody and, uh, and, and friends like that. I just wanna say seriously, hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I mean that. I know that there's a lot of channels on Twitch. There's a lot of places that you guys could be, but it means a lot to me that you guys chose to hang out with me today. Hopefully you guys um, learned a thing or two about FL Studio. If you end up making some music, well, I'll talk to the mods and we'll get a channel going in Discord where you can go and post your music because I would love to know what you guys come up with. I would love to hear it. If you're not already part of the Discord, you can join by clicking here in chat. Discord.gg slash Kiki. You guys can join the Discord there. It's a it's super active and uh, we'll have a channel where you guys can post your musical experiments but thank you guys so much for hanging out here today please do me a favor guys be good to yourselves be good to each other okay thank you for the bitty subs resubs lurkers chatters followers viewers vod watchers youtube watchers you guys are amazing and beautiful and i really appreciate you and i'm gonna you know what we're gonna send you guys on over to someone else who's doing something musical and that is Mr. Fucking Seth Drums. Guys, head on over to Seth's channel and spam some hearts and chat for him. Let him know that we love him. We do love him. Seth is amazing. He's an incredible, incredible musician. And uh, I really, really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you again for, uh, for all the support. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful night. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Okay? And I will see you guys very soon. All right? <laughs> Let me hear it, Neural Johnson. Hold on. Neural Johnson, send us off with a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Neural Johnson. All right, chat. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you very soon. Thank you for hanging out today. Take good care. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Spam some love for Sethy Pants. <laughs>